fires it. Back in the end zone, it's good! Welcome to the Springdale Bulldog pregame show here on the Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Big one tonight as Springdale gets set to play Bentonville West at Gerald Williams Bulldog Stadium. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But joining us, as he always does, is Coach Brad Hobbs. And uh, Coach, big one last week. Started off the conference season 1-0. and They're not always pretty, mm -hmm. but to win is a win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're we're excited to start out the um, the, the conference 1-0 uh, and at the top. And... Uh, you know, just like you said, uh, it wasn't the prettiest game, uh, but we found a way to win. And that's going to be important, I think, give us momentum as we uh, go on and continue uh, through this conference journey. A couple of standout performances. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Rensel mm -hmm. Orlada, career high in carries, yards, and touchdowns. This is a guy I know you've wanted to get into the games and get him some touches, and he delivered for you. Yeah, absolutely. In this offense, you're going to have to have two solid, uh, at least two solid fullbacks. And, of course, we have Lodgekit Kananaki, who is a, a bruising back, very physical. Uh, but as the season goes on, it's going to take a toll on him, uh, especially as much as they carry the football in this offense. And Rancel, he's a sophomore, so we wanted to kind of, you know, get him into the mix slowly, um, you know, trying to get him experience a little bit at a time. And, and this was a perfect time for him to kind of step up and, and get more of his more carries and be more part of the game plan, and uh, he made the most of it. Brandon Lauder on the other side, 14 tackles, four sacks. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen four sacks around here since Isaiah Nichols. That's a, I mean, that's a dominant performance from your rush line. Yeah, he, absolutely. It did bring back some memories of Isaiah Nichols or an Andre Sparks, and um, you know that's what we've been expecting from Brandon Lauder. Um, you know, he's had some injury. Um, you know, his sophomore and junior year, but really he's been a three-year starter for us. He's been a leader. Um, he's uh, extremely um, powerful, explosive, strong, runs well for his size. This is what we've been anticipating from him, um, especially on the defensive side. And uh, he delivered last Friday, and hopefully that he can just continue um, what he did this past Friday, continue on for the rest of the season. Coach Johnson and I talk about it all the time that because of the unique style that your offense presents for a defense, you're going to see new looks every single week. Every and week. that's something that you, that Coach Bray and, and the offensive staff have to sort out mm -hmm. uh, in those first couple of series. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, we have a game plan, but really, um, you know, the ga game plan could change depending on what we're going to see that week. And, you know, sometimes it's the defense or the flavor of the week. Sometimes you're going to get those copycat defenses that see a defense that works for, you know, a team and uh, they try to replicate that. But uh, we definitely saw a new look, you know, from Heritage with, um, you know, all the down mm -hmm. linemen basically covering up every single gap, um, you know, and I think that, um, you know, we found some plays that work, especially towards the end of the game. I mean, that's the one thing that's so demoralizing for a defense. Whenever you run the same play over and over and over again, you know what's coming, and you're still it's still difficult to stop. And uh, so I was proud, um, you know, of our guys, especially at the end, being able to uh, run out the clock and play physical. Uh, Red Dog football. One of those plays that worked was Jack Pounder's uh, yeah. basically a quarterback power. And, yeah. I mean, he, yeah. you know, people, I, I mentioned this to Coach Johnson when we were talking about this. He reminds me of Matt Jones a little bit in that you don't realize how fast he's yeah. going. Yeah. It doesn't look like he's moving that quickly, but he is, and you see him pull away from guys when he gets into the open field. Yeah, that's a, um, you know, a, a great comparison for sure. Um, you know, he's kind of got that long, uh, rangy body, um, you know, it doesn't look like he's going fast, but he has that deception speed and everything and, you know, pretty elusive as well. And, uh, 
you know, whenever we were running basically the quarterback power and having Lodge Kit with the lead block, uh, you know that he's going to deliver a good block, um, very physical, and uh, it was good to see for sure. You know, coaches talk about the three phases of the game. You guys were excellent in the special teams phase, blocked a kick and got some, some mm -hmm. good returns. You were shorthanded on the uh, on the onside kick. You got to be pleased with the way that's going. Plus, A.J. Woods has come in, and, I mean, he is a banger. I mean, he can hit, uh, you know, he can hit field goals. He can hit yeah. those extra points. He doesn't miss. Oh, he's been absolutely uh, tremendous for us this year. It's been a huge um, addition to our football team and, and something that in this league you're going to have to have in order to be successful. You know, um, we changed up our kicking scheme a little bit um, as we were kicking into number five. He is a, a very dynamic player, so we were wanting to get away from him. So we did a sky kick to the opposite field. And, you know, we, honestly, um, he's worked on it kind of on his own. Um, we've implemented a little bit, you know, during practice. Uh, that's all AJ right there. I mean, and and he hit some, um, you know, specific spots that they had to fair catch the ball. And I think, you know, somewhere at the 28, 30 yard line. And uh, so he did a very good job. But just like you said, um, you know, blocking that field goal, that was huge. That was just a huge effort play by Julian Arroyos coming through, which, you know, he's been making a lot of plays on defense and came big, uh, you know, in special teams. And then Landon Hahn. Um, you know, that's what we like to see. He didn't wait back, you know. He, he went and got after it, and that's the winning mentality, and that's the belief system that we want to have as far as going out there and making the play and, and expecting to make the play, and I was glad to see that, and uh, it was a huge play for us. For yeah, sure. Landon's one of those uh, Swiss Army knife type yeah. guys. I mean, you put him in the secondary, you put him on special teams, a real sure-handed guy that you like a lot. Yeah, and, you know, he's a coach's son that he understands it, um, you know, uh, Landon, he does so many things for us offensively, defensively, special teams, but also just as a teammate, you know, as far as his encouragement, um, you know, we are so blessed to, um, you know, get him as well as his dad, Coach Hahn, um, you know, as one of our offensive coaches, those have been, and his brother, Easton, those have been great additions to the Spring Noble Bulldogs. Open up the passing game a little bit. We saw some mm -hmm. things, some wrinkles that we hadn't seen yeah. before. And I know in the bye week, you know, you talked about the idea of maybe being able to open up the passing game a little. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think you're going to see more of that. I think we're going to see more wrinkles um, as we go along because you guys know, as everybody knows, uh, it's going to only get more difficult um, as we go along. So we're going to have to be able to open up the offense a little bit more. And I think by doing that, uh, you know, throwing the football, which we have a quarterback that can really throw the football. So we need to make sure and, and use all of our, um, you know, use everything that we have and, and, uh, in order to be successful. Well, we're going to talk about the Bentonville West Wolverines coming up on the other side of the break. You're watching the Springdale Bulldog pregame show on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. I'm Jason Jones, principal at Springdale High School. Thank you for making an investment into the future of athletics in our community of Springdale. We support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. Thank you for supporting the Fuel and Feet program. I am Paul Gree, principal at Harbor High School. Without your help, this program would not be possible. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Fuel and Feed program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. Thank you for your support. On behalf of Springdale School Athletics, I want to say thank you. Ozarks Go from Ozarks Electric Cooperative is leading the fiber revolution. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, 
post to post, from downtown to way out of town, to connect our customers to a world of blazing speed and access to absolutely everywhere. It's our customers connected. If you want fast, easy, and affordable service, visit McClarty Daniel. Keep your vehicle running like new in our state-of-the-art service facilities. We know your time is valuable. Our factory certified technicians with decades of experience will get you in and out and back on the road quickly. We service all makes and models at our six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale. Open six days a week. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to schedule your service appointment today. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. Hometown. That word still means something here. It means we're neighbors. We do the right thing. We care about your family. And you deserve the very best every time you walk in the front door. Harps. Hometown Fresh. Nothing says game day like good friends and great food. And at Slim Chickens, we know great food. From our 100% all-natural chicken dinners, fresh-made wings served with house sauces, to delicious chicken sandwiches, crisp salads, southern sides, and desserts you just can't get anywhere else. At Slim's, we have the food you love, made fresh for the people you care about. Dine in, drive through, or order online. Slim Chickens. Fresh, delicious chicken. Welcome back to the Springdale Bulldog pregame show here on Springdale Athletics Foundation Television, continuing our conversation with Coach Brett Hobbs. Dogs and Wolverines coming up here in just a little bit. And Coach, this Bentonville West team, mm -hmm. not as experienced as they've been. Maybe a, you know, a rebuilding year for them, but still a pretty darn good football team. Oh, yeah. You, you know, they're always going to be, uh, and, and just like every team in the 7A West, they're going to be very well coached. They're going to play extremely hard. Um, just like you said, I don't think it, it might be – you know, the best team that they've ever had um, or what they've had in the years past. But, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. They, they're still going to be a very tough team. They're going to be um, very well prepared. And uh, we've got to make sure and be ready and uh, play a very good game and make sure that we don't hurt ourselves. And I think if we do that, it's going to be a great game. Talk about them offensively because mm -hmm. it is, you know, for lack of a better term, kind of a funky offense. Yeah. It's not an offense that we see a lot. There's a lot of trickery to it. There's a yes. lot of motions, a lot of things that we don't see in a normal ball game, but they come from Bentonville West. Yeah, absolutely. They do a, they do a really good job as far as finding matchups, um, like you said, giving different looks, motioning people, trying to get your eyes in one, one place and, and doing things off of it. And... Um, you know, they, they always do a good job with their uh, perimeter game. They get the ball out quick. You're going to see a lot, of, a lot of screens and just like you said, some trickeration. They're going to sprint out, I guarantee. And at one point, the back is going to wheel out of the backfield on the opposite side. So we've got to make sure that we're staying at home defensively. Um, we're able to make the adjustments, um, you know, as they adjust and make sure that we're in good position. And... Um, you know, just make sure that we're playing sound football. And, and once we do, we've got to make sure once we're there, we've got to be able to make the play and make the tackle. They've got a first-time starter at quarterback, but they've got a veteran out at wide receiver, Q Thompson. He's one of the best ones in the conference. Yeah, they. I'm. you know, um, I, I like their skilled players. Um, you know, they've got, you know, a good combination as far as um, some guys that, um, you know, can – can be a deep threat, but then there's also guys that block well on the perimeter. Um, the quarterback, I think he has done a great job, um, you know, and he also, just like every Bentonville West quarterback, he's able to run a little bit that you've got to make sure and um, just be aware of. And, uh, you know, I think um, also Harris, number 23, um, he's, he's a good player. Um, number two, who is number 80 last year, 
Um, he's a returning all-conference yep. player Brust. for him. Yeah. Yep. So um, they, they've got, uh, you know, and they rotate so many different guys. You know, they'll play a bunch of guys both ways, but um, they roll those guys in and out, and I think that they do a great job with that. And um, we're just going to have to make sure we understand, you know, what personnel they have out there and where those, those key players are at. Defensively, they're a little bit smaller than they've been. Yeah, their, yes. their biggest defensive mm -hmm. lineman is about 240 pounds. Yeah. Then the other, you know, the end is 210. The other one's 198. This is an offense, or excuse me, a defense that, you know, if you can lock onto them, you could probably have some success just pushing them. Yes, um, and that's exactly what we saw as well. They're, they, they, they're not as big as they have been in, in the past. And I think that's going to definitely be an advantage for us and that we've got to take advantage of because, you know, as as – the game goes on, and the longer the game goes on, hopefully that we're going to be able to wear on those guys, especially when you have Terrence West and, and Kobe Cooks and, you know, when they're having to tackle Lodge Kit and Rancel, you know, over and over and over again. Um, hopefully that, you know, with them being a little bit smaller, quicker, uh, that it takes a little bit more of a pounding on them. And I think as the game goes on, and you can see on film uh, with, guys playing both ways, offense and defense, as the game goes on, you know, they don't necessarily make the, the tackles or the plays that they did early on. And so I'm hoping that we can wear them down and take advantage of it. In that. talking with their TV crew, it's the first year that they've really had multiple guys going both mm -hmm. ways. And, I mean, it sort of speaks to the youth on that side of the ball that they are, you know, trying to play guys both ways. And that certainly plays to your advantage. Yeah, they, absolutely. And, um you know, especially with our style of offense and everything. And, and I think also, you know, if we can control the ball, control the clock, um, be able to make those drives, sustain drives, I think is also gonna, going to, you know, take their offense out of rhythm. And, um, you know, because I think a lot of these, um, a lot of these teams and offenses in our conference, they're a rhythm offense and the more possessions and the more plays that they're able to run, the more successful and the more comfortable that they're going to be. So I'm hoping that uh, with our style of offense, that'll, that'll also be advantage for us as well. Coach Pratt is known for tricks and, yes. and doing things in an unconventional fashion. How much have you guys talked about this, both offensively and defensively, because they will do anything at any time try, to try and get yeah. an advantage? Yeah, they really do. And, and the one thing is, it's not the same tricks over and over. So the tricks that you see or you work on in practice, you can guarantee that it's going to be something different or something off of the previous trick. Um, I will say playing Heritage kind of helps us as mm -hmm. far as, you know, the secondary, um, you know, maybe not flying down as, as fast, you know, on different plays and everything, staying back a little bit because that's the biggest thing is, you know, not giving up the big play. And I think if we can just continue making those offenses, keep on snapping the football, um, you know, the better opportunity that we have and for them to, you know, make a mistake. And so that's what we're hoping for. What's the biggest thing you're going to tell your team before you go out onto the field tonight? You know, what, what's what's your message to them as you as you walk out of the tunnel? You know, I think that they need to uh, walk out with their, you know, with um, with excitement, but belief, but you know, confidence, that's the biggest thing. And I think they, they, our team does not understand how good they can possibly be right now. I mean, you take away, you know, the turnovers and the penalties and, and everything that, you know, could hurt us. Um, if, if you, if we take that away and just play a clean game, like, like we're capable, capable of playing, I mean, we can play, I feel like, with any team in this conference or in this state. Well, we're looking forward to it. Kickoff's coming up here in just right. a little bit. Coach Johnson and I will be there to bring it to you. You are watching the Springdale Bulldog pregame show on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Welcome to the 2023 Paper Football Championship. I'm Paul Tucker, the voice of the Harbor Wildcats. And I'm Zach Arts, voice of the Springdale Bulldogs. This is the same game we played when we were in fourth grade. You're playing a 21, touchdowns are worth six points, extra points worth one point. You'll flick to kick off. Typical rules, we've got coaches, we've got administrators, we've got everybody here. We're going to crown a champion this season. Back to 
this is the second quarterfinal between Doc Marshall and Athletic Director Keith Simple. This was uh, interesting in the pregame. They were volleying back and forth like it was Wimbledon, right. but as soon as the lights went on, it became they all business. They acted like they're yeah, professional. Like they don't know each other, and right. I love this. this is now, I did, see, uh, I did see Keith kind of, you know, patting the brow a little bit, may have a foreign substance. Complete speculation on our part. Absolutely. What we're going to have to do is get one of those baseball umpires to check them on the way out. Yes. Well, oh. we got the coin toss here. Let's see what happens. Hey. Okay. All right. Game on with that Southern Walker Arkansas Smith. paper football style. Teeing it up. Standing up. Both Remember, of he them. scored on the opening kickoff the last time. Both of them on their toes. Oh, oh nope. Just right. short. Denied. Oh, that was quite an interesting strategy. You get them deep in the end zone. Here's the kick. Touchdown! Touchdown. Oh, coming in strong on the pass play. Now he's got this bounce it over the crossbar strategy. He does. He likes to roll it into Marker Smith and point her own defense on the, on the field goal. No good, and it's Denied. six nothing. The really small goal post. I believe it was regulation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> six nothing. <laughs> Touchdown! Yes, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> we are all looking at each other and <laughs> waiting for the official <laughs> ruling. Yeah. And uh, Shifty says it's good. <laughs> so here we go. We are worried about a substance on the. There's no home cooking here in Springdale. <laughs> oh! No good. The camera guy got it on the forehead. Yeah. Well, it's Trent Jones. Trent. Uh, so, <laughs> sort of a camera guy. So All six right. six yep. our score. Look at, look at the intensity. Oh! oh wow! Going for the uh, going for the almost automatic had a, six. Almost had a cleaner. <laughs> It's, it's look at yours. That. Look at the stare down. She knows. She's oh, I like the just place it down there move that she's got. <laughs> we're not we're not hitting it. We're just gonna set it down. Touchdown! I feel like this may come up at the next school board meeting. Yes. <laughs> well, she'll never forget it. Look at the uh, look at this strategy. Yeah, look at that. She's going that's short thumbs. Yep. One inch yep. spread. Yeah. Like that's they're genius. arena league. Yeah. That's great. And that one's no good. It's, no. it's totally sight it's simple. I don't understand how he doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just shove it down there. There you there go. Touchdown. Touchdown. Dr. Smith. Right, Dr. Smith for the, for the lead Interesting, here. a new strategy for Dr. Smith. Holding the football and kicking it to the uprights. Good. Good. It's 13-12. Wow. I, I sense some hostilities at the next district Christmas party. Yes. <laughs> Simple's taking his cleats off. Ah, oh, short. And now, down to the 30. <laughs> short shot in. All she has to do is just move it over. <laughs> Touchdown! Touchdown! You started with Touchdown. Yeah. Oh, now they're talking? I like this. Yeah. This to make it 20 to 12. Do you want to be the next one sitting down? No. You can't sit down, you know. <laughs> no oh, good. No, no good. Defense. Oh, he wants a, a time. He's going to call oh. timeout. Quick timeout. Okay. Yeah. All right, going to get loosened up. up. Okay. Hey, this, this quick commercial timeout hey, brought to you by <laughs> McClarty Daniel, McClarty. Uh, one, of our <laughs> one of our sponsors here. Um, and this is the second quarter final. Winner going to the final four. Oh, I saw on. what he was doing there. It just was not a English not there. No backspin. Tried the backspin. This for the win. <laughs> she can the shove it. She can move it. <laughs> Ah, easily pick it ah. up and set it in the end zone from there. Touchdown! Ball game. That's your ball oh, game. Wow. Twenty-five to twelve in an upset. I can tell you. Experience the thrill of victory only on the Springdale Athletic Foundation YouTube channel. Football Friday night. What's the only thing better than ordering your Whataburger favorites right on your phone? Earning free Whataburger while doing it. 
Download the Whataburger app to get started, just like you like it. Try the three and three meal at Slim Chickens. Three hand breaded chicken tenders paired with three perfectly fried wings, shaken in your choice of house flavors. Served with fries, Texas toast, and a medium drink. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. On behalf of Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland, Principal Jason Jones, the staff, the students, and the alumni of Springdale High School, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this presentation of Springdale High School Football on the Springdale Athletic Foundation Television Network. Hi again, everybody. Zach Arns, voice of the Bulldogs, high atop Gerald Williams Bulldog Stadium as we get set for tonight's 7A West clash between the Bentonville West Wolverines and our Springdale Bulldogs. Tonight's pregame show was brought to you by the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Arkansas Children's Hospitals, Core Architects, ESI Engineering Services, Incorporated, Ozarks Electric Cooperative, Pam Transport, So it's a big one tonight for the 2-2 two and two Bulldogs as they take on the 2-2 two and two Wolverines from Bentonville West High School. And you can see the teams here. It's been a, a, a series coach dominated by Bentonville West. Uh, Springdale, since the creation of uh, Bentonville West in 2016, has yet to beat the Wolverines. But right. tonight just feels a little bit different for our Bulldogs. It does feel a little bit different. We, and, and the good thing is we're at home, so we get a chance to have them here. So that's going to be a great thing. Uh, and, too, I think coming off of a, a big win last week, uh, is going to help our kids. Bentonville West has won games against Booker Team Washington, and Little Rock Central got hammered last week by Fayetteville and a couple of weeks earlier by Cabot. So this is a rebuilding Bentonville West team, still very dangerous on the offensive end. They like to go fast. They like to score a lot of right. points. This is going to be a real interesting uh, sort of contrast game where Springdale's going to want to slow it down and ground a pound. Exactly, and, and, and so far, offensively, we've been able to do that. Sometimes we just kind of shoot ourselves in the foot. Of course, knowing that offense that we're in, too, those are some things early on that uh, you're going to kind of go through some of those aches and pains in this offense. Defensively, with them going fast, it's just a matter of getting lined up correctly and making sure we're ready to go. Now, it's going to be really fun, and we're going to take a look here at the offensive and starting lineups for Springdale. And not a lot of changes for the dogs. Now, I was talking to Coach Hobbs this week. Uh, Khalil Marks is going to play some at the receiver spot because Caden Asarud is right. back, and that gives them a little bit more flexibility. Exactly, and that's going to definitely help us just from a speed standpoint. But it also gives you flexibility, like you said, because now you've got an extra receiver that's not only out there, but he's also a slot back, too, right. with a lot of mobility. Right, so the guy to, guy to keep an eye on tonight, obviously, is Jack Pounders. Jack had a huge night uh, a week ago against Rogers Heritage. Three rushing touchdowns, over 100 yards. He's kind of the, the thing that makes this engine go. Exactly, and he's done a really good job. A couple of misreads last week, you know, where he kind of threw it. But, you know, again, this offense, you're going to have those kind of things. And uh, But he makes it run, and he does a good job. Super competitive kid. And uh, looking at the line there, our left side's huge. Uh, you know, we, we had Xavier last year kind of go down a little bit, but went back in. Uh, the Conley kid stepped mm -hmm. in for him last yes, year, did. did a really good job for him. So, you know, we've got some people there that can help out as well. Now, this is not a big uh, Bentonville West defense by any stretch of the imagination. They run a base three for Collier DeClerc as a defensive end. He weighs 200 pounds. Right. He's going to be matched up either against Terrence West or Maurice Oliveira. Springdale's got a significant weight advantage there. Braxton Williams is their biggest defensive lineman. He plays the nose spot. 5'9", Two, 250. It's probably a draw with Xavier Engel, but where... Springdale feels that maybe they can get some push here. Xander McKinnis, very fast defensive end. He right. is 5'9", 198 pounds. He's either going to be against Terrence or he's going to be on Maurice. Springdale feels like they can push this team around a little bit. Well, you know, and, and again, like in the offense that we're in, we're, we're running north and south. And that's what we want to do. And, and typically when you see guys that are sized like that and you see our offensive linemen do, and then the offense we're in, that's exactly what we want to do. Three of the eight starters for Bentonville West on defense over 200 pounds and none of them significantly over 200 pounds except right. the uh, the nose man. So this is something I think Springdale feels like they've got a little bit of a power advantage where in right. the last couple of weeks they felt like they had a speed advantage. Exactly. You know, and, and 
the good thing with this offense is that we can kind of monitor and adjust with that. Definitely tonight, I think, is definitely more in our favor with the, the size-wise. Captains are heading towards the middle of the field. We'll look at the starting defense here in just a second. Uh, tonight's uh, captains, Josh Cossey's out there along with uh, Jonathan Velasquez. That's Brandon Lauder and Lanchkit Kanagaki. You want the football first in this sort of a matchup? Definitely. I think in the offense that we run, we definitely want the football. Well, here's some news right here. If you're looking at the captains here, Q Thompson, number zero, is their best wide receiver, and yeah. it looks like he's not going to play tonight. Right. So that uh, certainly uh, sort of raises the yeah. eyebrows. Definitely. You know, when you're when you're a sec uh, defensive coordinator, you're looking to see in that, and their best receiver's not in. That's a good thing. Yeah. Of course, we're talking about their size. And 77. Lane, yeah, Lane Jeffcoat. He's, uh, he's, <laughs> I think he also is a basketball player, too, for him. Yeah. And, uh, but he definitely stands out in that one. He is committed to Rice University, a three-star left tackle for the Wolverines. Certainly an imposing figure. Somebody that Springdale is going to certainly have to account for. Springdale has won the toss, and they are going to take the football first. And, guys, we can pop up the uh, the defensive starters for the Dogs. We'll run through this real quick. Got to keep an eye on tonight's Brandon Lauder. 14 right. tackles last week, four sacks and, against Rogers and, Heritage. And he, they kind of moved him around, you know, and, and used him kind of wherever – uh, they felt like maybe the biggest rush or the biggest push might be. And, and Brandon's done a really good job. And that's, you know, he's typically an inside linebacker mm -hmm. having to play this outside linebacker spot. And he's really done a good job. Yeah, the Springdale's defensive line, we talk about Julian Arroyos a lot. He's sort of a game wrecker. Javen Polite's playing very, very well. Michael Dickerson leads the team in tackles. And tonight, you get Caden Asserud back, who will right. give you a little bit more flexibility in that secondary. He, um, Ricky Balderas has replaced him in the starting lineup, but Caden's going to play back there a little yeah, bit tonight. Yeah, that's definitely, that, you know, it gives you another guy that you can have. And uh, so that's definitely a huge, huge help for us. So, you know, we just got to have the guys up front have to kind of be the motor. Uh, Arroyo, Zach Turner, and, and, you know, Polite. But, the you know, Connor and Lauder on the outside edges. Again, the nickel and the rush for us defensively, they're kind of the captains. It's going to be interesting. Bentonville West kind of runs one of those, you know, junky offenses. There's it, It's a lot of trickery, a lot of reverses. They'll run trick plays at very right. odd times. Right. Uh, so Springdale's going to have – that defense is going to have to play really, really well tonight right. and sort of stay at home. I was talking to Coach Hobbs during the, uh, the coaches' show about that, about staying home and right. not falling for the first, you know, the first thing you see. Yep. And uh, that's certainly something to, to keep an eye on tonight. But Springdale's going to get the football first, and, you know, we haven't really mentioned it, but the turnovers last week kept – the game a heck of a lot closer than it probably should oh, have been. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. I know it's 20, 28 to 20 was the final, but, you know, very easily should have been. We should have had at least two more touchdowns, possibly three, but because of the turnovers. Uh, and those are things when you start getting into the conference later and later, mm -hmm. you got to eliminate those because those, those kind of turnovers, when you play good teams, are going to amount to points for them. Bentonville West has come out of the field. They're in all white tonight, uh, trimmed with blue. Uh, Springdale will be in the red tops and the white pants, and we wait their arrival onto the field. Two and two uh, on the season. Have wins over Farmington and Rogers Heritage last week, and the Dogs will come onto the field tonight, led by Maurice Oliveira and Zach Turner. And the Dogs, certainly emotional after uh, the game last week. Felt like, uh, you know, just in talking with a couple of the players, just felt like, you know, they left points on the field. Exactly. You know, and when players start seeing that, they, they're starting to kind of get invested in that, and that's really good. Glad to have you along here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Dogs and the Wolverines. Springdale trying to get their first win over the Wolverines in program history. This uh, and uh, certainly an opportunity you here bet. for Springdale. Without question. You know, it's one of those things. This, I think this first offensive series, the kickoff here, making sure, you know, and this is too, you might, you talk about the trickery of, of the offense. This is something where you need, you might want to watch mm -hmm. for the onside kick right here off the bat, try to steal a possession. It's been a warm day here in Northwest Arkansas. It's 80 degrees right now. Wind, not really a factor. It's blowing from right to left as you watch on television. Right. Eh, you know, maybe five miles an hour. Not a real threat for any sort of right. weather or anything. Now, it is going to start to cool off in the middle of the week this week. So it's going to get a lot colder uh, as, we, nice. as we move forward. Yeah, it'd be really, really nice. But right now, it's clear skies, 80 degrees, lights are on. Glad to have you along here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. We are waiting for these teams to get on the field so we can get this one underway. Vonnie Williams, Caden Nasserud is going to drop back deep along with Khalil Marks. And Caden had the one play against uh, uh, Harrison, Harrison back in the opening game, a 45-yard kick return, and we haven't seen him since. Right, so I, I bet he's, he's a kid that's ready to get back on the field and, and kind of show what he can do. So yeah, it's gonna excited be, to have him back. Yeah, and he adds just another dimension exactly. for, uh, for for Springdale in the, the return game. Here comes right. Bentonville West and in the kick team out. Ethan Grigg is their kicker. He's number 39, and we're about to get this thing underway. Shout out to my uh, intern, Fogg, who is watching at the University of Kansas. He's a former uh, Bentonville West 
uh, students, so Fogg, glad to have you along here. And we are set up. Ethan Grigg has it teed up. He's got it aimed right yeah, at. Yeah, it, it looks like he, he's looking either for an onside kick right here. Scoot up. Yep, Be got, ready for that. He's got it aimed right at Landon Hahn, and we are underway, and there's the onside kick to start the game, and it's nope. caught at the 47. Springdale's going to have excellent field position. You know, we talked about that trickery, and that they, they came out right off the bat to try to do the onside kick, and, and it almost bit them. Uh, and, you know, we were lucky to get – we you know, we got the return on that, so that's going to put us in really good field position. I right say here. this literally every year about Brian Pratt. If he ever wonders why he will never win a state title, <laughs> it's stuff like this. I mean, just kick the ball deep and start the game. Yep. So it'll be first and ten for Springdale. Ball at the 41-yard line. Powders will bring the offense out. Marks and Asarud are the slot backs. It's, it's a little bit different formation here as they go with Lodgkitt spread to the right. Yeah, this is – and this is – they. I think they've done this formation before. It's kind of just try to see if they'll – how many they can get out of the box with that, and they look and see. Here's a pitch play. It's Asarud. With room, 30-yard line, inside the 25, down near the 20-yard line, first down Springdale. And, again, they, they got a guy out of the box, and, and it just gave us an extra blocker. You know, and it's a numbers game, you know, and, and kind of whatever they do is wrong. And we did a really good job blocking on the perimeter. Again. So, so one other uh, little note here. It looks like Braden Connor has a, we'll call it a, a, a jersey issue. He'll be wearing number nine tonight. He's down here at the bottom of the screen. And this will be first and ten ball at the 20. Lodge gets the fullback. It's Marks in motion. Kanagaki straight ahead. No, it's Jack with the ball inside the 15-yard line, Good close read. to first down yardage. Good read. And you talked about Jack kind of being the, the, the key to this, and that's why. Jack does. He's done a really good job reading, running the offense. He's a good leader for these kids, and and it's really paid off this year. So Springdale off to a flying start here. They've got the ball to twelve yard line. It's second down and two. And I think you going back to the size. I think that's starting to kind of already showing some of the difference. And Springdale now. with a massive size difference on the offensive line. This is second and two. Pounders will pull it and pitch it. This is Asarud, five-yard line, touchdown, Springdale. The dogs in three plays find the end zone on their opening drive. That's a really good job right there. Good read, good pitch. And, again, we've talked about, I can't tell you how much we've talked about the, the perimeter blocking. Coach Williams, we got in from Sylvan Hills, uh, one of our new coaches on staff for the offense, has done a tremendous job working with those receivers, making sure they get blocks outside on the perimeter. And it showed right there, gave us a chance to walk in the end zone untouched. A.J. Woods on to try the extra point, 12 out of 13 on the year. Pounders will hold, hold, snaps good, kicks on the way. And it's good. So our score with 10.52 to go here in the first quarter, Springdale 7, Bentonville West nothing. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Nothing says game day like good friends and great food. And at Slim Chicken, we know great food. From our 100% all-natural chicken tenders, fresh-made wings served with house sauces, to delicious chicken sandwiches, crisp salads, southern sides, and desserts you just can't get anywhere else. At Slim's, we have the food you love, made fresh for the people you care about. Dine in, drive through, or order online. Slim Chickens. Fresh, delicious chicken. Ten fifty-two to go here in the first quarter. The scoring drive, three plays, forty-one yards. Kate Nasserud in with the touchdown, and Springdale up to a uh, a pretty good start here, uh, seven nothing. Well, and you kind of saw right there when we do what we're supposed to do, when we read like we're supposed to read, block. You can see what we can do offensively, and that was a really good job, good execution on the offensive side right there. So AJ Woods has it teed up, back deep for Bentonville West. Mason Hawkins and Braden Nash. Nash is near side. He's number seven in the middle. Is number 23. I guess the Benson kid. And that's Harris Vincent. So AJ with the teed up. Springdale off to a good start here. The seven nothing lead. AJ gets into it. It's end over end angling for the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. And Bentonville West going to start with good field position. I'm not sure that one was how it was coached up to be on that one. I think he kind of missed it. I, I saw the kicker kind of hit himself on the head. So special teams uh, kind of shaky here in the uh, in the opening minute or two and now Bentonville West will get the football. Kind of seeing what the, I think they're going to make us kick it again. Okay. Rather than put it on the 35. 
They must feel good about their return. Must, do, must feel that way. So they'll send the kick team out again. And AJ will get another opportunity. This from the 35-yard line. You know, one of the things people don't really talk about is, you know, there's three phases of football, offense, defense, and special team. And if you're not good on that special team, it can really cost yeah, you certainly games. can. And people really need to understand how important the, this phase of the game is. So AJ will be kicking into what breeze there is. I just checked it. It's yeah. coming in at about four miles an hour, so no real breeze to speak of. And AJ will drive this one deep. It's going to be taken at the seven. Across the 30, got a little room, 40-yard line, so they're going to get about seven or eight yeah, more yards out of that. Got a few more yards out of it. So it'll be first and 10. Dalton Rice is the quarterback for Bentonville West. He's got, as we mentioned, Q Thompson, his best receiver, not going to play tonight. After the 35-yard return, they'll put it down at the 42-yard line. This will be first and 10. They like to go fast. Yeah. You know, it's like you said, you know, with them being fast, it's going to just be a matter of us just getting lined up correctly. So first and 10, Rice in the shotgun. Run off the right side, 45, into Springdale territory. That's Cole Edmondson on the carry, and now ball resting at the 50-yard line. The West will speed it up a little bit. Again, a huge contrast in the way these two teams play. So Edmondson again, same play. He's going to get first down yardage down to the 46-yard line. You know, I'd say, they're, and they're just running kind of a zone read. The quarterback's reading this edge player off the edge, which is Lauder for us. And uh, Big 77 is kind of taking him, and Arroyos is, is actually on him. So hopefully we can get around him. So first and 10, ball at the 46-yard line. Rice in the shotgun again. Now he'll throw his first pass of the ballgame, rolling far side. Pumps it, fakes it, and he's going to throw it away incomplete. Good coverage good there coverage, by Springdale. Yeah. That was a good coverage right there. It sure was. It'll bring up second down and 10. And, yeah. you know, I've, I've talked to coaches about this Bentonville West offense, and they always say the same thing. Like, you can get him down. Pratt starts grab-backing Chasing, for yeah. things, and he starts panicking. Well, and it's he, almost like he started the, the, the game like that, to yeah. be honest with you. So it is second down 10, 9.51 to go here in the first quarter. Springdale with a 7 nothing lead. Rice in the shotgun, Edmondson alongside. That's Brust in motion. They'll fake it to him. This is Edmondson straight ahead. Springdale's got it hemmed up. Michael Dickerson there. Good job right there. Leo De La Sacha there as well. And now it's going to be third down and long. It's it's like you said, you, you, you know, get them in a position where they're kind of chasing Instead of actually kind of playing, it makes a lot of difference offensively for them. So third down, Springdale uh, opponents uh, connecting on about 46% of third downs here. This is going to be a third down, and we'll call it 10. It's just a little bit less than that. Rice in the shotgun. Edmondson will throw. Good protection. Pass complete at the 32-yard line. First down, Bentonville West. Well, that was a good little curl route by the receiver. And, and the quarterback actually kind of threw it ahead of, of where he, when he was going to throw it. And it's, it's a good thing. Uh, you know, a little break a little bit earlier right there. It's a different ball game. And put it down at the 30-yard line. Reception made there by Mason Hawkins. And it will get Bentonville West a first down at the 30. Edmondson. No, it's going to be Hawkins. Or excuse me, Rice. Inside the 20, first down. And that's that zone that read zone I was read. talking about. Yeah. You know, the, if the linebacker takes the running back, the quarterback's going to pull it. So, you know, we've got to do a really good job making sure probably just need to kind of maintain and make the quarterback make a decision, not us make the decision. 14-yard pickup down to the 16-yard line. Tackle made there by Day Day Fan. And now Bentonville West inside the red zone. First and 10. Rice will throw. Rice under pressure. Flushed to his right by Brandon Lauder. Looking. And he's going to throw that one away. And good defense, good coverage there in yes, the secondary by Springdale. It, it was, you know. We're, we're getting what we need. Brandon Lauder, I'm telling you, I, like I said, he's he's a natural inside linebacker, but he's done a really good job playing outside linebacker. And a lot of it's just because he wants to play. He's, his motor runs fast, and it, he does a great job. Right. Reminds me of a guy that wore number four here a couple of years ago, Andre Sparks, with yes. the way that he pursues the football. Yeah. So second down 10, ball to 16. 
It's Bentonville West's first drive of the ball game. Edmondson's the, the running back alongside. This is Edmondson. He's going to get to the outside 15-yard line. Day-Day's going to knock him out of bounds. It's going to be third down, and we'll call it maybe four. Boy, right here, this is going to be a, a big play right here. We can hold him here, uh, you know, make him kick a field goal. I think you got to win here. So this is a big play for us. They give him the 10-yard line. It'll be third down and four. Clock stopped with 8.31 to go here in the first quarter. Changes coming for Springdale's defense. Ricky Baldera is checking in. Corner over there. Man, we're we're we a man a short. Timeout. We are a man short. Yeah. And, and we're going to get a timeout. Yep. Call a timeout. We just... So we'll take the timeout with him. 8.31 to go here in the first quarter. Springdale leads by seven. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. Arkansas's largest furniture destination, get it at Sam's. Joe and Larry here with Sam's Furniture. We just wanted to thank you for your business and to let you know that your purchase helps serve so many people. That's right. The culture here at Sam's is to love and serve others in our community and around the globe. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many organizations we partner with. You enable us to invest in our children, teachers, veterans, development in Africa, and distributing wheelchairs to those in need around the world. You are a part of this. So from the Sam's Furniture family to yours, thank, thank you. you. Welcome back to Springdale. It's third down and four. Rice has two running backs alongside. Already converted once on third down on this drive. Rice fires, and that pass is airmailed into the end zone. It's going to bring up fourth down, but knowing Brian Pratt, he is going to go for this. Yeah, I was going to say this may be a two-down territory. Uh, there's no, uh, no call for the field goal team, so they're going to go. Springdale's defense looking to get the stop here. Teams on the year converting 67% on fourth downs against the Dogs. This a fourth down and four with 8.26 to go here in the first quarter. Rice. That's Vincent. He's going to get the first down, I think. Yep. I think we'll see. Gonna get... Yeah, they're going to give it to him at the four-yard line, and yep. it's going to be enough for Bentonville West first down. Just enough speed to get to the edge there. Uh, and Law, Law, I thought Lauder had a uh, chance to get to that. Just enough angle not to. So, so it'll be first and goal ball at the four-yard line. Loving the new score bug this, uh, this year. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Very nice, guys. Very, very nice. New quarterback in the ball game. That's Mason Hawkins. The wide receiver is now in as a Wildcat quarterback. He's got Edmondson alongside. They're going to give it to Edmondson, trying to get outside. He's bounced out at the five. Springdale's got him hemmed in, running him backwards. He's going to lose three yards. Good job there, just stringing it out. You know, we've talked about the defense, how they've just kind of played well, doing a good job stringing things out, and that was a good job there by the defense. Yeah, push him all the way back to the eight-yard line, so it winds up being a four-yard loss. Day Day fans, the one who ultimately brought him down. Dickerson coming out, you can see that. Yep. You know, it looks like they're trying to give him more rest this time and being able to rotate guys in and out to – I think help with that the, the fast pace that they're trying to go. Yeah, Mason Hahn has checked in at the linebacker spot. Trips will go to the top of the screen. This is a second and goal back at the eight. That's Vincent in motion. Snaps low. They got the screen set up. Pass is caught and knocked down. Who made that tackle right there? It looks like and it's Mason. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Hahn. Mason, Mason Hahn. Yeah, yeah great, great play there. And now Springdale with another opportunity get off the field. That's going to go about as a half-yard loss. Great now it's going to be third down and goal at the eight. Yep. And, and Bentonville West is a heavy screen team. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll flip it out in the flats. They, they very rarely throw the ball down the field. And here comes one of these trick plays, and this is Brust, and he's going to be knocked down at the two-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and goal. Kind of looked like he got tripped up by his own player there, the receiver. Uh... So now they're going to try and go fast. Bring your run guys in and out. This is going to be fourth down and goal. Ball at the two-yard line. And now we've got whistles. You know, those and are, a timeout Springdale. I know we're trying to run guys in and out. And there's certain times where I think the coaches are trying to figure out, look, 
hey, we don't go on certain situations, and they've probably been coached up to go here, go there, and they're, I know Coach Chick's going to get that worked out. And when we've had to burn two timeouts to do that, and those are those are timeouts we might need later yeah. on. Yeah, this place, uh, this drive so far, 13 plays, 56 yards, has gone all the way down to the two-yard line. You'd love to get out of this yeah. and, and get the football well, you back. you make a tackle, you get out of yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, with it being fourth down, and, hey, our offense is ready to go the way they're running the ball. I'm fine with it. Yep, I don't absolutely. care where it's at. So the teams will come back onto the field. Springdale sending most of the starters back in. I see Dickerson back in. Uh, you know, a guy who's starting to make some noise for them is Rex and Ration. He's playing that nickel yes. spot. Uh, really, um, uh, Coach was talking about him in the uh, the pregame show, just kind of that emotional. Rex you know, is you know, really good. He played for me at George, and I'm telling you what, he's a quick learner. He's a very athletic kid, and that kid, is he's probably one of the toughest. He gets stronger and stronger as the game goes on. So this is going to be fourth down and goal. Ball at the two-yard line. Springdale trying to turn Bentonville West away and get the football back. Vincent in motion. Rice fires pass wide open. Jackson Brust for the touchdown. Just a bust in coverage. Yeah. You, you can kind of see the DBs talking to each other. And one, one you know, it's kind of one of those I.O. I.O.s inside, outside. And one went one inside and both went covered the inside receiver. And nobody covered the outside receiver. Ethan Gregg will come on to try the extra point. Check that. It's going to be Zach Burns to try the extra point. Snaps good. Kicks on the way. And, and it's no good. Wow. So Springdale's going to catch a break. Ch chasing a point here. All right. So with 6.39 to go here in the first quarter, Dogs are going to get the football back. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. If you need that love, support, somebody to push you, to tell you you can do it, I would tell them to come to Parent Transportation. It's a family here. It's, it's not just a regular company. They will look after you. They will show you that you are important. You are welcome here. Six thirty-nine to go in the first quarter. The Bentonville West scoring drive. Fourteen plays, fifty-eight yards. It's a two-yard pass to Jackson Brust and. Of course, the extra point is missed, and now Springdale with a one-point lead. Yeah. They're going to get the football back. Hey, that could be a difference. Absolutely, it could. So, Huge. Burns has it teed up. Not sure what's going on with Ethan Grigg. Maybe got uh, maybe got dinged a little bit on that uh, onside kick, but Burns is a linebacker, and he's got it teed up for Bentonville West. Back deep for the Dogs. It's Marks, Asserud, and looks like Vonnie Williams. So, Burns. It's going to go high end over end. Going to come to Caden at the 10. Asserud hits the 20, 25. Caden Asserud, 35-yard line. Boy, he's just slippery. He is. He, he, the good thing I like about seeing him return is that he doesn't slow down. He just keeps moving, and that gives us a better chance. It's hard to teach these young kids on the kickoff return. they got to run. They can't slow down, and he does a good job of that. 29-yard return gets Springdale out to the 39-yard line, and uh, we misidentified number nine there. That, that Carson, is uh, Carson yeah. Hader. Uh, Carson's been out a couple weeks with a little bit of a leg injury, yeah, so sure my apologies, uh, Carson. He is now down at the wide receiver on the near side. First and 10 for the Dogs, ball at the 39-yard line. Pounders the quarterback. Lodgkit is the fullback. Howard and Asser, the slot backs. Khalil has moved out to the wide receiver spot. Yeah. And now Springdale with five there. seconds here on the play clock. Springdale's going to have to burn another timeout or take the penalty, and they're going to take the penalty. No, he calls the That's timeout. It. So Springdale's burned all, all three timeouts? Yeah, they down. burned all three timeouts here in the first quarter. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Ozarks Go from Ozarks Electric Cooperative is leading the fiber revolution. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post, from downtown to way out of town, to connect our customers to a world of blazing speed and access to absolutely everywhere. It's our customers connected.
the football. First and 10, ball to 39. Springdale, no timeouts left here. They, they've used all three here in the first six minutes of the first quarter. This first down and 10. Springdale waiting for the referee to blow his whistle. He does, and now we're ready to go. First and 10 for the Dogs. Counter pitch, here comes Asaru. 40 job. yard line, 45. And he'll be run out of bounds, looks like at the 50, and that's gonna be enough for yep. Springdale first down. That was a great little counter play there. You got your twirl motion coming back, and offense did a really good job. They, so right now, they, they're, in, they're in a good fluid movement right now with the offense, and doing a really good job executing. Asaru, so far in the uh, first quarter, three carries, 44 yards. Definitely Does been productive. Have, has the touchdown. So this first down 10, ball at the 50. No change in personnel for Springdale. Jack with the pitch. Finds Noel on the outside, 45-40. Noel Howard inside the 40-yard line, first down Springdale. They've got, they got Benton West on skates right now. Yeah. And it's kind of one of those things right now where whatever they do is wrong, and as long as Jack's reading it, we're in good hands. So it'll be first and 10 for Springdale. The ball we placed at the 37. They'll scrimmage from there. And I mean, you, you, this looks really comfortable right now right. for Springdale. They're running at a good pace. Exactly. Exactly. First and 10. Founders will go under center. He's got Howard and Asarud alongside. There the slot backs. Lodge get the fullback. It's Howard in motion. Straight ahead, Lodge get not much there. We'll bring up second down. Well, that, and that's really kind of the first time. I think Jack kind of was like his own dive where they, they were testing it. They're definitely going to key in on that uh, fullback. They did bring some size in. They brought the left tackle in at the right end. Yeah, and they're going to have to, I mean, just to win some of the uh, the physical battles. Right. And, you know, that, uh, let's be honest, he's facing off against Terrence. That got, is a, that's got, a lot of beef right there. there. There's, that's, a, that's a heavy side over yeah, there. Yeah, that is. So second down 10. Springdale yet to throw a pass. They did throw a season high five passes last week. That's Howard in motion. Here comes Lodge gets straight ahead. Not much there. Maybe gets down to the 35 two yard pickup and it's gonna bring up third down. I ran into uh, Jack's mom at the grocery store on, uh, on Sunday. And I mentioned to her, I said, Jack threw his first interception of the year. The last uh, Springdale turnover, he actually pitched it forward. So. You don't see that very no. often in this offense. Yeah. But uh, this is going to bring up third down. We'll call it eight yards to go. 440 to go and running here in the first quarter. A very quick moving first quarter. And Springdale has pretty well dominated it on offense. Yeah. You know, a couple of third down conversions kept Bentonville West in it. Howard in motion. Jack pitches to Kate. Caden's going to be snowed under there at the 39-yard line. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And now it's decision time for Springdale. It's going to be fourth down and... We're going to call it 12. I think we're going to go for it. No, nope, he's going he's to he's punt it. Springdale will send A.J. Woods in, 28.8 on the year. I'd like to see one at about, oh, 34. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see one of those. That'd, exactly. that'd be nice right now. Back deep for Bentonville West goes Jackson Brust, basketball player in the uh, spring, sure-handed receiver in the fall. Snap is good. AJ's got it and gets it away. This one high in the air. Brust calls for the fair catch, and he'll make it at the. Looks like they're going to mark it at the 18-yard line, and that's where Benville West will take over. And a lot of uh, promise there on that drive, just no uh, no cash. Yeah, you know they they went a little different that time, and and uh, I think they were just trying to kind of see what they were going to do defensively. Uh, I think you'll see us come back and and come back to kind of do what we did the first first series. So it's first and 10 for Bentonville West. Ball at the 18-yard line. Rice will be in the shotgun. Edmondson alongside. Springdale's defense with an opportunity here. Get the football back. This Rice. Boy, he got clocked. He lets it go. He's got a man wide open. That's Vincent. And Vincent's going to be run down deep in Springdale territory. But just a straight go route ran yeah. by him. Yeah, he's a, he, he's a really good athlete. And uh, he just, like you said, just kind of ran past him. And, you know, the quarterback... He got hit as he threw it, so he knew he was fixing to and did a good job staying in there and, and making a good throw. Put the ball down at the 21-yard line. It's a 61-yard gain on first down, and now we've got a sideline warning against Bentonville West. Not surprised. Yeah. Well, and there, you know, 
and two, there's not a lot of room out here. No, either no, side. there isn't. And that's unfortunate for both sides because there, there's not much room and it can make it difficult at times. So it'll be first and 10 at the 21 yard line. Bentonville West with the, the long gainer. Now they'll get the chain set. Springdale's defense going to have to uh, buckle down here. This Edmondson straight ahead. He's going to be snowed under by a bunch of dogs back at the 22-yard line. He might have. Did they, he lose a yard? Or they did. He? They marked him down at the 22, so it'll wind up being a one-yard loss. Again, that was a good job just at the point of attack, just kind of stringing it out a little bit. And that's If we can do that, I think we'll be okay. Just got to make sure we, we take the right angles. Clock running, 2.55 to go here in the first quarter, a rapidly moving first quarter. Rice will go into the shotgun, Edmondson alongside. It's a three wide receiver set, four wide receiver set. Rice to throw. High, looking for Jackson Brust, goes incomplete. Now Springdale with another opportunity here on a third and long. Yep. You know, that's Williams out there on the coverage. Yeah. You know, third and long, some, you know, sometimes seems to be kind of an Achilles heel for us. <laughs> it has we, been at times. You know, this might be an opportunity here for And I know Coach Chick well enough to know he's coaching them up. He, that defensive side's done a really good job. So this might be a chance we can kind of break through right here. So third down, we'll call it 11. Rice, he'll throw. Screen set up and nearly oh. intercepted. Good play there by couple of dogs there. Day-Day yeah. fan chasing Mason Hawkins. Yeah, that's going to bring up fourth 53 down. 53 actually pulled Lauder back a little bit, or Lauder might have had a chance to even intercept that one. So it's fourth down, and they're going to keep the offense on the field. I think something happened to Ethan Grigg on that onside kick. Um, they, they're not even thinking about it right now. Ethan Grigg is the normal kicker for Bentonville West. He kicked the onside kick, and uh, we have not seen him since. So now it's fourth down, 11 yards to go. Rice in the shotgun. Rice. Right down the middle, got a guy wide open, touchdown. Jackson <laughs> Brust with the touchdown. Bentonville West is on the board again. You know, it's a situation, you know, we're in a trips coverage there, and uh, linebackers got to step out and play that. It's a, it's a matchup, and, you know, he just kind of, linebacker kind of got lost with his feet, and didn't go with him. So they leave the offense on the field. It's 12-7 with 2.31 to go here in the first quarter, and they're obviously going to go for two. Yeah, yeah, they try to get that point back. You know, in that last play, it's just a matter of just being where you're supposed to be right there. Changing the play here. Edmondson trying to get to the outside. Springdale's got him hemmed in, and it's going to go nowhere. So the dogs will hold there, and the lead will be five when they get the football back with 2.31 to go here in the first half. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Hometown. That word still means something here. It means we're neighbors. We do the right thing. We care about your family and you deserve the very best every time you walk in the front door. Harps, hometown fresh. 2.31 to go here in the first quarter. Springdale down by five, 12, seven, and a real promising start for Springdale. Right. They get the lead, but two long drives by right. Bentonville West have uh, given them the lead. Right, you know, and, and, it's, and it's been on fourth down both times. Yeah. Both touchdowns have come on fourth down, fourth and two and fourth and 11. And Springdale's you know. really had problems on fourth down, 67% coming in, um, and that number's gone up today. But, you know, still time to work on it. Still in the ball game here, 2.31 right. to go. Dogs are going to get it. You know, I think you'll see us come back and kind of do what we're supposed to do here on offense. This one's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. That was Nick's on the kickoff. So now three different guys have kicked off, and this one goes all the way into the end zone. Springdale's going to get the football at the 20-yard line. And good drive going, and then it sort of stalled right. uh, here at the uh, the 40-yard line. Yeah, we came out and did a little, you know, hit some hit some plays with some zone dive with the fullback a little bit. And I think you'll see us kind of spread out a little bit more. 
Uh, we haven't thrown the ball, so that might be something you kind of look at now just to kind of see what their secondary is going to do. Are they pulling in their safeties? Are they, are they kind of biting down a little bit? And if they are, then that might be something we look at. Rancel Orlan has checked in. He had 100 yards last week against Rogers Heritage. A little bit different than Lodgkid, more of a uh, – Right. More, Lodgkid described as a run-to-contact guy. There's Orlana straight ahead. Now, West doing a good job on the on the fullback dive. Right. They, you know, they are. You know, they got two and a half there, maybe three yards. And, again, that's one of those things. Just read it, read it, and then run their offense. Yep. This will bring up second down and eight. Clock running 2.15 to go here in the first quarter. And Springo willing to take their time here. And, then, right. they, you know, West not going as fast as we've seen them go right. in the past. I was going to say, they've slowed it down a little, a little as well. So second and eight. Jack will go under center. Orlana straight ahead, nothing there. And hasn't been much up the middle for uh, for the dogs here so far. No, it hasn't. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to look and kind of see what they're looking at here. And we got to, you know, this is an offense too. You, 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 right? Rather not be in a third and eight situation no, right no, here. No, this is not where you want to be. It's going to be third down, and we're going to call it eight. Line to makes the 30-yard line. Howard and Asarud are the slot backs, or a lot of the fullback. Khalil and Hader are the wide receivers. Powder's under center. Jack's going to throw. And he's going to go down and sacked back at the 15-yard line. And a three and out for Springdale. Yeah, that's, that's uh, definitely not what you wanted to see coming in to end out that first quarter. And, they, they, you know, the guy came off the edge. The backside guy should have stepped in hands. And he just kind of came off the edge and went around him a little bit there. So it's a four-yard loss. And A.J. Woods will come in to kick. And now Springdale, kind of after that fast start, the air has right. kind of come out of this. Yeah. You know, they uh, looks like uh, Benton West kind of settled in a little bit. And, We've, uh, we've got to turn around and match that and, and do the, do what we do, and we'll be okay. Brust back in to receive the kick. He's got his heels on the 45-yard line. High snap, nice catch by A.J., and he'll get the kick out of there. Brust going to field it at the 47, and he's hit right away. Look at Sammy Asia. Good job there. Good coverage. Really good coverage, and great to me. The, the kicker caught a good high punt right there, or a good snap, and then got the ball off and did a good job. Kind of flipped the field a little bit, but uh, it helped. So Bentonville West going to start with great field position here. And, you know, this uh, you, we've talked about this before. The thing you don't want to do is get down two scores. Right. And Springdale's kind of teetering here in the yep. first quarter. You're exactly right. And that's something we need, we need to settle in and, and try to get them off the field just like they did with us. So first down and 10. They're going to come three wide receivers to the near side. Vincent alone at the top of the screen. Edmondson the running back. Rice with plenty of time, chased out of there by Simpson. He's going to get across the 50, who pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Wow. Well, they gave him a good spot. Yeah, they did. They? Of course, again, with the sideline, it's kind of hard to see right there at the helmets of the players. You're not real sure exactly where he might have stepped out. But you can give him five on that. Looks like they were trying five. to, the, the screen and go is what they were trying to go to. And we had two guys cover the top, and that's what made him kind of take off. So good coverage there. Second and five. Same formation, they just flipped it. Dalton Rice. Pass caught, the 36. Man. Skelton with the tackle, boy. Han was right yeah, he was. there, it just kind of, I don't know if it just went over his fingertips or, man. It's gonna be enough for a first down. They're gonna put it down at the 36. You know, that's something Benton West has kind of done too, the RPOs there with the uh, run pass option. and. They did a good job just kind of waiting, and we, I thought the I thought Han had it. He was right there. Three seconds left in the first quarter. I don't think they're going to get this one off. They won't, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Our score, Bentonville West 12, Springdale 7. Coach and I will be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Goodbye, guessing. Hello, confidence. So long stress, hello security. Farewell running to the bank, hello banking from anywhere.
Get a quick view of your balance, block lost debit cards, and quickly deposit checks anywhere, anytime with the highly rated Arvest Go mobile app from Arvest Bank. Goodbye limits, hello possibilities. We start the second quarter. It's going to be first and 10 for Bentonville West. Ball at the 36-yard line. Springdale got on the board first. Kate Nasserud with a touchdown run, and everything seemed to be going Springdale's yeah. way, and, and it's just all of a sudden stopped. Exactly. You know, we hit three plays. We are just running it kind of like we wanted to, and then we've, we've kind of hit a, uh, a hard spot there and uh, a bump in the road, and we just got to get over that, and uh, I think we'll be okay. Big thing right now is we've got to stop them on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, Bentonville West with 152 yards of offense there in the first quarter. Springdale with 60. The big number is Bentonville West has run 21 plays, Springdale 11. Right. And normally that's it's that opposite. normally it's yeah. the, Springdale is averaging five more plays per game uh, on the offensive side. This is a first and 10. Rice in the shotgun. And he'll throw. They pump the screen. And now they're looking for Vincent, and they're going to get a pass interference. Uh, uh, that's it. That's it screen and go again and that time he tried to go across and ran into the safety and I think they're going to call him down the field there with the It's either a hold or interference. We'll see. Ed. Right. I didn't see the call but it looks like they're going to get a pass interference so it's 15 yards. Ball down to the 21 yard line. It'll be first and 10. David Polite has checked in as defensive lineman for Springdale. Zach Turner in as well. First and 10, four wide receivers set for Bentonville West. This is Edmondson. He's going to get down inside the 15 to the 14, and it's going to be... Good tackle made there by Raxon. Yep, Raxon with the uh, the tackle, and it'll bring up second down. We'll call it, uh, we'll call it four. <laughs> You know, Arroyos did a good job coming off the edge there, kind of made that back, kind of step in, and then have to jump back outside again and gave Raxon a chance to make that tackle. Second down. This is Edmondson again. Gets away from Lauder, and now he's being chased by half the Springdale defense. And Springdale, I, I, it looked like they stopped. Wow. I, I agree. It sure did. Edmondson's going to go in for the touchdown, but it looks like Springdale's defense just stopped. Man. Boy, that's something there. You you know, you, you got him pinned in. He stops. He kind of makes a move. And the next thing you know is, like I, like you said, our defense is just kind of froze. Yeah, that's uh, – I mean, they, they had, him, had him in the backfield. Yeah. And it just, I don't know if, if they – I thought they maybe heard a whistle. I mean, we'll, we'll see it here. You got three, four. There's four yeah. guys right there. I mean, they – yeah. Oh, wow. So Bentonville West going to try the extra point here. Kicks on the way, and it's good. So our new score with 11-17 to go here in the first half. Bentonville West 19, Springdale 7. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Bentonville West scoring drive, four plays, 48 yards. It ends in a Cole Edmondson touchdown run. And now Springdale's dug themselves a little yep. bit of a hole here. 12-point deficit, but plenty of time to get Lots yourself back into it. Yeah, they got they got plenty of time. They just they just got to get back to doing what they're doing. And and I think you're going to see that on this series right here. Um, Coach Braille said on him and Coach Hanna get together, I know, and they'll figure this thing out. Ethan Gregg's back in. He will kick it for Bentonville West. Back deep for Springdale, Asarud, Williams, and Khalil Marks. This kick's going to sail into the end zone, and it will be a touchback. And Springdale now going to take the football here. A lot going on the first drive, not much since. Springdale with just 60 yards of total offense. They really just need to possess the football for exactly. a little bit. They just, they just need to control the clock. They need to control what they're doing. And, uh, you know, they're going to be okay. They just got to get back to doing what they were doing that first series. So Jack will bring the offense out. Lodge gets back in at the fullback spot. 
Hader and Khalil Marks are the wide receivers. This will be first and 10 from the 20. Lodgkit straight ahead, first down yardage across the 30. You know, that time, the, the, if you'll notice, last series they were inside. This time they went a little bit wider, and uh, and that's where Lodgkit wins, a little bit wider and a much better run for, for him. 12-yard pickup gives Springdale a first down at the 32. And, you know, like, like I say, it just feels like just control the football for a little bit. Exactly. A touchdown here, and, you know, you're right back in the ball you game. Bet, you bet. So first and 10, ball at the 32-yard line. Pounders will go under center. No change in formation or personnel. Watch gets straight ahead again, and he's going to get a couple up near the 35. And you know, we've talked about it a hundred times so far in four and a half games, but this is what Springdale likes, just yeah. three yards and, and just keep pounding away. Yeah, I can promise you 48 likes it. <laughs> he, <laughs> Coach, he's smiling the whole time. Coach, uh, you know, we were talking about the differences between he and Rancel or Alana, and, and Coach said, well, Lodgkit likes to run through you. Yes, <laughs> and he definitely wants the contact. You know, we were talking about Carson up, up there at the top. He played quarterback as well, and he's, he's the backup. So he's a kid that understands this offense as well, and you've got guys out there now that, that understand it. Second down, ball at the 35-yard line. Ball's on the ground, and I think West has it. They do. Nope, they're oh, wow. They're giving it back to us. Wow. Wow. Jack did there it. were two Jack, the West Jack players did there. A heck Jack of a got job it, yeah. right there, pulling that out of the pile, I guess. Yeah, there was contact at the mesh point. Yes, it's almost like the, the the fullback and the quarterback just the, one was thinking of something else. And uh, good thing Jack there did a good job getting it back and gives us a chance to go to the next play. And it only winds up being a one yard loss, but it's still third down. Springdale tonight on third downs, 0 for two. They've been converting on the year. Brought in a little bigger nose now. Yep, 47% on third down so far for Springdale. 0 for 2 tonight. Clock's running 9.21 to go here in the first half. This is a big one for Springdale. Ass root in motion. They're going to fake the pitch. And Jack's in trouble, and he gets away. Wow, Jack Pounders. And he is going to take the contact at the 40-yard line. He's going to come up short, but did everything he could just to get what he did. Yeah. And I think Jack is down. We're going to take a quick timeout, 8.58 to go here in the first half. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Hi, this is Zach Arns, the voice of the Springdale Bulldogs. Are you looking for a new career? Would you like to become a professional truck driver? The CDL Training School in Tawnytown, Arkansas is now opened and accepting new students. You can earn your CDL in just three short weeks with employment after you finish school and PAM Transport will cover your tuition. You will train in the same equipment you will drive once you earn your CDL. Plus, students also receive a $100 weekly stipend during training. Don't wait another minute. Call PAM Transport today. 888-498-2549. That's 888-498-2549. Joe and Larry here with Sam's Furniture. We just wanted to thank you for your business and to let you know that your purchase helps serve so many people. That's right. The culture here at Sam's is to love and serve others in our community and around the globe. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many organizations we partner with. You enable us to invest in our children, teachers, veterans, development in Africa, and distributing wheelchairs to those in need around the world. You are a part of this. So from the Sam's Furniture family to yours, thank, thank you. you. Accidents are never planned. But no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most.
Goodbye, paperwork. Hello, convenience. Farewell waiting. Hello, personal service. Catch you later, dreaming. Hello, planning. Buy your dream home. Connect with a personal banker and easily schedule an appointment with digital tools from our best bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. Back to Springdale. Heavy contact between uh, Johnny Johnson of Bentonville West and Jack Pounders of Springdale. Both players got up under their own power and walked off the field. So that's uh, that's, that's really good news. Good. We'll have you to bet. wait and see, uh, um, you know, what the uh, what the situation <laughs> is. It's going to be fourth down and two yards to go. Coach Hobbs has sent the punt team on for Springdale, and Bentonville West is going to send Jackson Brust back to receive the kick. Looks like we got the Watt Hats asking maybe for some clock. I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm not sure what was going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I don't either. But uh, it just—it actually gave them a chance to sub guys in. Is what they did. That was a college rule for them. So A.J. Woods in to kick the football away. Snap is good. A.J. gets the kick away. Brust calls for the fair catch, and he'll make it at the 26. And Springdale going to send the defense out in desperate need of a stop. Yeah, we definitely we just need to stop, you know. And, and defensively, for, for the confidence for our kids, they need to get out there and get a stop. Uh, as well. 8.35 to go here in the first half. 12-point deficit for Springdale. Dalton Rice will bring the offense out. Edmondson is the running back. Jela Sanchez checked in as the defensive end. And this is first and 10, empty backfield. Rice quickly. Pass complete. Screen set up. Get out past the 35-yard line. It's going to be enough for a first down. And you mentioned they were screen heavy, and they they've kind of they kind of got a screen in every situation you can think of. The ball be placed at the 38. It'll be first and 10 for Bentonville West. So far, 185 yards of total offense for Bentonville West here in the first half. Springdale defense had some opportunities, haven't been able to get off the field. Yeah. This is going to be a first down. Rice will go back. Five wide receivers set again. Rice fires far side, complete 40-yard line. Another first down for Bentonville West. Pass yeah. reception made by, I believe, no, it's not Brust. I think it's number one. Yep, Mason Hawkins with the reception. Yeah, Helmet came off, so he's got to go out. Another first down for them. Again, another screen, a little fast screen out to the outside. Ball placed at the 49-yard line, first and 10. Full moon's coming up. Yeah, uh, Just over is. the... Uh, I guess it'll be the north, south, the east side of uh, Darrell Williams Bulldog yep. Stadium. Same set, five wide receivers, three near side, two to the far side. Here's Rice. He'll flip it out quickly. Now, this is Vincent, and he's going to be, well, maybe dragged down back go. at the 42 yard line. That's not a, no, you, sometimes you just cut your losses on plays exactly. like that. So it'll Good be job a, there. And it'll be a five-yard loss, six-yard loss back to the 43. You know, sometimes players try to make too many plays. Yeah, one too many moves <laughs> That's there. That's right. Sometimes you just go down and take, uh, cut the loss at, a, at two yards instead of six. Second down. This is Rice. He's going to get back to maybe, yeah, a little maybe. bit further than yeah. the original line of scrimmage. It's going to set up a third manageable for Bentonville West. <laughs> right. You know, of course, I think with them right now, with them up 12, I think it's probably two down territory for them. I would think so. Yeah. So third down. All at midfield. Bentonville West, one out of four on third downs tonight. Four for four. Excuse me, three for three on fourth downs. That was brust in motion. Play clock's at six. Rice to throw. 
right down the middle of the field. That's a good no call right there. He and they're going to throw the flag. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see here. That 89 pushed the Springdale defender we down. Him. Yeah. And in, we were we were had a guy in front and a guy behind. And I'm not so sure that was a oh. – I think they're going to pick this flag up after talking, to be honest with you. Well, let's see. Yeah, he's, he's going back. I think he's picking it up. I, I will say, you know, at least they talk to each other as a as a group. So they're going to wave that gonna off. Wave that off. So it's going to be fourth down. Ball at midfield. The line makes the 41. With 6-12 to go. Springdale, boy, could really use a stop here. Again, fourth and long. Big play right here for the for the dogs. Edmondson's checked in. He'll be at the running back spot. I think last time, if you remember correctly, they ran that little curl route, and that quarterback mm -hmm. kind of just put it in the spot and be ready for something like that, something quick. Play clock at 8. Rice in the shotgun. Springdale rushes 3. Now Rice going to fire. He's got Brust. Incomplete pass. Landon Hahn with a pass breakup, and Springdale's going to get the football at midfield. Just great job there. He, he did a great job because he had two receivers he's trying to count, have to cover there. He broke on the football and did a good job using that correct hand to knock that down. Great technique by him and a good job getting us off the field right great there. Great play there by Landon Hunt, you bet. senior you who's bet. getting more and more playing time as the uh, the season has rolled on. So let's see who comes out at the quarterback spot. I think you're going to see, uh, Looks, it's probably, it's, it's got to be Carson, I think. Uh, it is. Carson yep, Hader. Carson Hader. Is in at the quarterback spot. Yep, he'll be fine. I know, you know, Jackson won't be out there, but you know, safety of first and ten for the dogs. Ball midfield, six oh six to go. Here's Hader. Hader's got some room. Fifty yard line, forty five yard line, turns north, first down yardage. Springdale bat down at the 38-yard line. So a little change of pace there as Carson Hader picks up 12 on his first carry as a Springdale Bulldog. Good job. Good job. Again, you know, in this offense, when you're doing this, this gives that quarterback a chance to do it because of what we're running. Clock stops momentarily as they set the chains. 5.55 now to go in the ball in the first half. Carson Hader now operating the Springdale offense. He's got Noel Howard and Caden Asrud as the slot backs. Lodgkit as the fullback. Here's Lachkit, 30-yard line, down to the 25. This Springdale offense has sort of picked up the pace a little Good bit. Read right there. Again, you know, it's just it's a matter of you got two kids that understand the, the, the offense, and uh, Carson's doing a really good job picking up where, you know, where Jack left off. It's a great job. 13-yard pickup gives Springdale a first down at the 25-yard line. Clock running 527 here to go in the half. Now, Bentonville West does get the ball to start the right. second half, so Springdale can take their this time is big here. right here, yeah. And you talk about the middle eight. Mm -hmm. Love the middle eight. I mean, you got to dominate the middle eight if you're going to have an opportunity. So first down. Play clock's down at 11. Springdale going to have to hurry here. No timeouts. They burned the ball in the first quarter. Play clock's at five. The watch gets straight ahead. Gets a couple. <laughs> Mark him down at the 24, so it's a one-yard pickup. You know, looking at the uh, the Springdale sidelines here, though, I mean, the defense energized after getting yeah. the stop. I mean, that, that was just one of those things they needed. You bet. That has no doubt. 4.30 to go here in the first half. Play clock at 12. Hader will go under center. That's root in motion. Hader. The Kanagaki. Lodge gets still fighting. He's going to get uh, down near the 15-yard line. He Good turned. Job. He got another three yards yeah, out of he that. Yeah, he kind of got stalemated. Kind of a scrum there, and he kind of turned back left a little bit and gave him a chance to get a couple more yards that way. And we're going to put it down at the 18-yard line. Now, this is a third down we want to be in right here. Yeah, this is what we want, third and short. Springdale is not converted on a third down tonight. This one a big one, a third down and three, and it just feels like the way things have gone, this is two down territory no matter what. Exactly, no doubt. You know, here's you just take a deep breath and, and, and just run the football. Eight or under center. Kanagaki, first Great down, Springdale. 
Great read right there by the quarterback. Good run he's by Lodge. He's got a natural, he's just got a natural good. feel to it for a guy who hasn't played at all. Yep. You know, and that's 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 what you want to be able to have as a kid that can come in like Carson and, and be able to read it. Smart kid. You know, Jack does a good job leading the team, and then something happens. You got Carson that's right there capable of doing the, the, the exact same thing. Uh, so that that's a great great thing to have in this offense. Ball be placed at the 13-yard line after the five-yard pickup. It's first and 10. Clock running 3:10 to go here in the half. Springdale took over at the 50-yard line, looking to punch this thing in, get back in the ball game. Eight or under center. Pitches. Here's Asarud trying to get to the outside. Finds the 10. Five wow. touchdown. Caden Asarud. And the dogs get right back in it. Did, did, great job there by Carson just maintaining his balance to get the pitch there. He got hit in the back as he's pitching the ball. Look right here. You can see it. Gets hit and pitches the ball as he's falling down. That's a, that's a great play there by quarterback and, and running back. Caden. Caden just finishes it off. Yeah. And Springdale now with a six-point deficit. On comes A.J. Woods to try the extra point with 2.55 to go in the half. Snaps low, kicks on the way, and good. So our score with 2.55 to go in the half, Bentonville West 19, Springdale 14. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. And it's good. good. Introducing the Springdale Public Schools Paper Football Tournament. Get ready for a showdown like no other, where the game comes alive on paper. It's not just a child's game, it's a battle of wits. Who will claim victory and etch their name in Springdale history? Experience the thrill of victory only on the Springdale Athletic Foundation YouTube channel. The Bentonville West, excuse me, the Springdale scoring drive, six plays, 50 yards, capped off by a 13-yard run by Cade Nasserud. Springdale getting back in the game. I was going to say Bentonville West now here with 2.55 to go. You get a stop here. Yeah, you get a stop you here. You got an opportunity here to, to, to maybe get some extra points here and before you go into the half. Yeah, you, you, you definitely got to get a stop because they, they do get the ball back the second half, and uh, it's very important that, that they do that now. Right there, I felt like you had the offense kind of feed off the defensive play. Now let's continue that. Defense go back out there. Just just play smart. So A.J. Woods has it teed up. Back deep for West, Mason Hawkins, Harris Vinson, and Brayden Nash. He's on the far side. Springdale going to have to uh, tighten up the kick coverage here. A couple yeah. of kicks, 42 yards and 35 yards on, on kick returns. A.J. gets into it, high end over end kick, comes near side. Hawkins will take it at the 7. Hawkins with a seam, across the 30, still going, and he's going to be dragged down at the 36-yard line. Mason Hahn on the tackle. Yeah, that was a good, a little better job there, That even though they got to the 35. You know, that's uh, kind of like kicking the ball out of bounds. So Bentonville West with good field position here, 2.49 to go in the half. Springdale. Defense on, with a stop the last time here, and now with an opportunity to get their football, uh, get their football back to the offense. Braden Connors checked in as a safety, something he has uh, been the nickel back most of the season. So we're seeing some changes here. This is Edmondson. Edmondson going to be run down there. Great, Great tackle. Job. Yeah. Yeah. There's Raxon. our guy, Raxon Ration again. Yeah. He is. Um, he is a little bit of a spark plug for this defense. A high motor guy. You betcha. Like I said, for, for when he played for me, he, he was like that. It seemed like the, the more I gave him the ball, the, the, the stronger he got. Clock running, 225 to go. Bentonville West with all three timeouts. Springdale with none. This is Rice. He'll throw. Corner out looking for Brust, and that pass is complete at the 45-yard line. Not bad coverage there. I think that uh, was that Connor there. That was Connor on yeah, he just a little bit late on his hand coming across there, and he knows it. You know, you talk about a kid that's competitive. Wow. 17-yard completion gives Bentonville West first and ten at the 45. Rice in the shotgun. Four wide receivers set. Edmondson is the running back. Rice will throw. Passes knocked away. 
Good job. He just, you know, the quarterback Brayton just kind of he just kind of flicks his wrist, kind of gets that ball out there and lets his receivers kind of run to it. Uh, that was a good job there by Connor, putting his hand up right there at the last second, knocking it down. Good job. Rice 10 out of 18 tonight, 142 yards has the two touchdowns. Right. Springdale now in a second and 10 ball to 45. That, you see they're starting to take shots now, right. which is something that they do from time to time. There's heavy screens, and then they'll just start taking shots. Here's Rice. He's got Brust right down the middle of the field. Jackson Brust into the end zone. Touchdown, Bentonville West. And that's the one thing you couldn't have happen. You know, and I was just fixing to say, you know, the other two touchdowns that they've scored have been on busted coverages. And, and again, it looks like that was something there that just kind of got confused about. And... Uh, took advantage of it. So 45 yard touchdown pass from Dalton Rice to Jackson Brust gives Bentonville West an 11 point lead. Here comes the extra point team and are they going to go for two? Looks like they're going to go. Looks like they're going to go for two. Looks like we might have got a sideline warning there. Wasn't sure. I thought that's what they were. Well, okay. They send Grig in. Edmondson's going to hold. Snaps good, kicks on the way, and it's good. So our new score with 156 to go in the first half. Bentonville West 26, Springdale 14. We'll be right back to watching the Springdale Bulldogs on the Bulldog Sports Network. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. The scoring drive is four plays, 63 yards, 45-yard touchdown pass from Dalton Rice to Jackson Brust gives Bentonville West the two-score lead again here at 26-14. And with 1.56 to go here in the first half, I mean, you'd feel pretty good, but yeah, no did. timeouts, so... Right. You know, you're, you're limited just based off the time, based on kind of the offense that we run. But at the same time, you know, we got to be positive. You, you know, if they give us a chance to kick, get a return, who knows what can happen. Uh, so just be positive. Let's come out there and do what we do. I know it, it's busted coverage. You know, three touchdowns, in my opinion, have been because we just kind of got lost a little bit. And you mentioned that earlier about different formations, trying to run a little bit of trickery. But it really wasn't just trickery. It's just a matter of just us not – Paying attention a little bit. Ethan Gregg has it teed up. Williams, Asrud, and Khalil Marks back deep for Springdale. And this this kid's done a good job kicking off. Kind of stepped in there and he's done a good job putting it in the end zone. This one is going to take Khalil back into the end zone and it'll be a touchback. And Springdale's going to have to go the length of the field here. So what's your strategy here, Coach, with no timeouts, 156 to go. You're down 12. They're going to get the ball to. Yeah. You know, this is uh, definitely, we, we've got to do a, a really good job here. One, one, you definitely don't want to, you don't want to turn the ball over here. You want to make sure you, you run something that we feel comfortable running. Be, you know, be smart about what we're doing on the offensive side because they do get the mm -hmm. ball back to third quarter. Yeah, they do. 156 to go. Carson will go under center. A little toss comes, there. Good job. The pitch and Noel's going to get maybe three out of it. His second carry of the night. You know, I think that's there. They kind of they, they they went with the toss. Looks like they're they're trying to call a, a timeout. Right? It looks like they did call a timeout. Yeah, they did call a timeout. So we'll take it with them. 150 to go here in the half. 26-14. Our score. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Sometimes a dream car has nothing to do with horsepower or performance. My dream car is the one that gets me to my job. Job every day. The one that lets me help a friend in need. I didn't think I had the credit. My credit score wasn't that good. But Carmart believed in me. They believed in me. 
150 to go here in the first half. 26-14 is our score. Second down and seven. You, know, you said it during the break when we were talking. Uh, I think Pratt's trying to get uh, trying to get into the possession here if he can. Yeah. So Lodge gets straight ahead. He's going to get maybe three up to the 26. <laughs> Looks like he's called his second. So we'll uh, we'll hold it here with 145 to go. And you're facing a third down, and we're going to call it four. And you've got your backup quarterback in. Now there is some good news here. If you can, uh, if we can, uh, we don't quite see it here. But Jack Pounders is on the outside of the offensive huddle. Yeah, uh, he's on his feet, so that is good news. He took he and Johnny Johnson took a big yeah, shot. Yeah, that, that was one. Of, that was a, a pretty good collision out of two kids there, and both of them running full speed at right. each other. And and uh, you know it is good to see Jack up moving around. You know, and again, to me, that shows his leadership mm -hmm. right there where he's supposed to be, making sure the, the, the younger players is getting his – and Carson's right there doing what he's supposed to be doing as well. And I, I think it's great that those two kids uh, can be able to do this offense and work together like this. It's awesome. Yep. He doesn't have his helmet, so I – you yeah, know, they, I, I think they took it. He was yeah. mad because <laughs> he wanted to get in. I was kind of watching him down on the sideline. And I know Jack, he's a competitor anyway, and – uh, I know he's frustrated, but at the same time, you know, kid safety, it's definitely got to. Absolutely. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great kid, too. And you got Carson out there, two great character kids running the offense. So third down, a line that makes the 30-yard line. Carson Hader in at the quarterback spot. It's Howard in motion. And, oh, yeah. Yep, they jumped offside, so Springdale's going to get the first down. That's the first penalty against Bentonville West tonight. You know, here's what I'd like to see. You talked about Carson, but Carson's done a really good job stepping in, and you don't see much of a difference no. as far as the cadence and thing. And that's that's the thing with this offense is it's the same. You know, and they've done a really good job pairing it together. So it'll be first down and ten. Clock showing 138 to go here in the half. Springdale again with no timeouts. Hater's going to be dragged down back at the 29-yard line. They've had a lot of backside pressure tonight. I don't know what it is that they're doing, but this is the well, first time we've seen our quarterbacks getting caught from They're behind. pinching hard. What they're doing, they're in those four eyes, and they're pinching hard, and they're pinching for that reason from backside, and, and they're they're kind of taking advantage of maybe some of our size with some of their quickness, like, they, like you had mentioned earlier on that, and, and that pinching with that uh, weak side end is, is what caused that. So it'll be second down and 12. Clock running with 1.10 to go here in the first half. Here comes the pitch. This is Noel across the 30. He's going to be run down at about the 35, we'll call it the 36-yard line. It's going to bring up third down. It's like Coach Brad's calling his last time out there. No, second time out. I'm sorry. So we'll take a quick timeout, 58 seconds to go in the half. Springdale down by 12. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. What's the only thing better than ordering your Whataburger favorites right on your phone? Earning free Whataburger while doing it. Download the Whataburger app to get started, just like you like it. Try the three and three meal at Slim Chickens. Three hand breaded chicken tenders paired with three perfectly fried wings. Shake it in your choice of house flavors. Served with fries, Texas toast, and a medium drink. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. 58 seconds to go here in the half. Springdale's got the football. It's third down. The line to make is the 41. They're at about the 35 and a half. We'll call it the 36. And uh, this is, this, again, a huge conversion yeah. here for Springdale. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, it's, re it's really important they get it right here because you definitely you definitely don't want to give them the ball with uh, with time on the clock because you know they get the ball the start of the third quarter. Yeah, they, and the way they've been uh, moving the football here. Certainly want to run this out and see if he can get some points out of it. 58 right. seconds to go. It's a big third down and five. That's root in motion. They're going to try the pitch. Caden. I think, he's, like gonna, he yeah, I think yeah. he's going to get there sure up did. at the 42-yard line. So Springdale's going to get the first down. The clock will stop momentarily. We'll see what Coach Hobbs wants to do with this. Good job there by Caden. Just, just a little extra second effort there by him. Uh, gave us that, that, that first down. Good job. Caden with 58 yards rushing here in the first half. He's been a nice addition. You bet he is. Getting him back. And 
And we've got a flag down. Coming from where he came, it looks like it's probably maybe a snap infraction from the umpire, I would assume. Uh, I didn't see it, but uh, a lot of times when it's right there, that's, that's kind of probably what it is. So Springdale being put back at the 36-yard line. And we first down at 15 with 33 seconds to go against Springdale with no timeouts. Bentonville West with one. Here's Hayter. He's going to get back up to the original line of scrimmage at the 41. And he's, you know, he's a little bit um, a little shorter than Jack. And yeah, he's, uh, he's he a guy is. that uh, he runs a lot like Lodgkin. He just kind of likes the contact. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing. You know, they all of them have just a little bit of different speed. A little deception on, on each of them is just a little bit uniquely different. And uh, that's another thing with this offense kind of helps us out, too. Seven seconds to go here in the half. Sprinkle does not have to run a play. I think they're going to probably just. Yep, they're going to take it to halftime. Well, they wanted to run a play, but Carson, and again, that's, you know, that's young. Yep. Being able to come in here, and he knows it, and he's frustrated with himself, and, uh, you know, he, he's coming in in the game, not getting prepared. He just has to get thrown into it, so. Our score at the end of two quarters, Bentonville West 26, Springdale 14. We'll be back with a halftime show coming up. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. Nothing says game day like good friends and great food. And at Slim Chickens, we know great food. From our 100% all-natural chicken dinners, fresh-made wings served with house sauces, to delicious chicken sandwiches, crisp salads, southern sides, and desserts you just can't get anywhere else. At Slim's, we have the food you love, made fresh for the people you care about. Dine in, drive through, or order online. Slim Chickens. Fresh, delicious chicken. Our halftime score, Bentonville West 26, Springdale 14. Our halftime show is brought to you by Springdale Athletic Foundation. Tyson Foods. McClarty Daniel. Harps Food Stores. And Arvest Bank. And 5-H Sports Photography. Coach and I will be back to break it down coming up. Bands and the cheerleaders are on the way. Our halftime score, Bentonville West 26, Springdale 14. We'll be right back. You're watching Springdale Bulldog Football on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
program for the Springdale High School dance team. And happy birthday, Harper. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to tonight's performance of the award-winning, critically acclaimed, Springdale High School Marching Band. We invite you to remain seated as the band takes the field. This year's show centers around one of the most iconic characters in movie history. We focus on his personal journey down the yellow brick road in the search of what each of us has inside, a heart. Featuring the music of Miranda Lambert, John Mackey, and Elton John, we hope you thoroughly enjoy our 2023-2024 show entitled Tin Man. Cesar Gutierrez, Tegan Stewart, 
and Leslie Dejar Hernandez. Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. 
Arkansas's largest furniture destination. Get it at Sam's. Hello and welcome. My name is Donald Tucker and I'm the president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Thank you for taking interest as we embark on an exciting chapter in our mission to support the Springdale Public School District Athletic Department. The Springdale Athletic Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that has been passionately working towards one goal for the past 12 years, raising funds for the Springdale Public School District Athletic Department. Every dollar we raise goes directly back into the foundation to help support the dreams and aspirations of our district's incredible students. Our commitment to the district's children is unwavering. We believe that athletics plays a vital role in the personal growth, character development, and overall well-being. That's why we need your help today. By partnering with us, you become an integral part of our journey to empower and uplift these young athletes. I encourage you to visit our website, www.springdaleathleticfoundation.org, where you can find out more information about our organization, our impact, and how you can help support. Every contribution, big or small, makes a difference in the lives of our district kids. In an effort to continue to provide for our students and connect families across the country, this year we are taking our efforts to a whole new level. We're excited to announce that the Springdale Athletic Foundation is taking ownership of the live stream broadcast for the Springdale Public School District Athletic Games. That's right, Springdale Sports, captured by Springdale Kids, the Springdale Way. Now you can tune in and join us for the excitement of Friday Night Lights or March Madness, all from the comfort of your own home. So come out and support. Tune in live or just relive the moment, wherever, whenever. Shot on the way. And go! So I invite you to stand with us, partner with the Springdale Athletic Foundation, and be a part of something truly special. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of our district kids and ensure that Springdale sports continues to set the standards in athletics across the state. Thank you for supporting the Fuel and Feet program. I'm Cassie Lloyd, the head volleyball coach at Harbor High School, and without your help, this program would not be possible. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. My name is Brandi Davis, girls basketball coach at Central Junior High. Thank you for donating to the Fuel and Feet program. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Fuel and Feet program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I'm Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. If you need that love, support, somebody to push you, to tell you you can do it, I would tell them to come to Pam Transportation. It's a family here. It's, it's not just a regular company. They will look after you. They will show you that you are important, you are welcome here. Ozarks Go from Ozarks Electric Cooperative is leading the fiber revolution. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post, from downtown to way out of town, to connect our customers to a world of blazing speed and access to absolutely everywhere. It's our customers connected. I'm Don Struving. It's because of the generosity of people like you, we are able to fully support the Fuel and Feed program. For this, we thank you and appreciate your help. I support Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. My name is Zach Arns, a voice of the Springdale Bulldogs. Thank you for donating to the Fuel and Feet program. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Fuel and Feet program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. On behalf of Springdale Schools Athletics, I want to say thank you. 
Thank you for your support. Hometown. That word still means something here. It means we're neighbors. We do the right thing. We care about your family. And you deserve the very best every time you walk in the front door. Harps. Hometown Fresh. Goodbye, guessing. Hello, confidence. So long, stress. Hello, security. Farewell, running to the bank. Hello, banking from anywhere. Get a quick view of your balance. Lock lost debit cards and quickly deposit checks anywhere, anytime with a highly rated Arves Go mobile app from Arves Bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. Halftime score, Bentonville West 26, Springdale 14. And, uh, Coach, it's been um interesting first half, to it say is. the very least. Springdale got off to a fast start with Caden Asrud, uh, touchdown run after a recovered onside right. kick to open the ball game. And, and since then, it's been kind of dominated here by uh, by Bentonville West. We take a look at the uh, the first half highlights. You, you talk me through it here. Springdale with 152 yards of offense. Here you see the uh, the pitch and the touchdown run by Caden. Found a right. little hole there. And, and felt like Springdale had gotten off to a good start here, but back came Bentonville West. Yeah, you know, and that's just one of those things, and you had mentioned early uh, before the game even started, talking about different formations, running a little bit faster, and we had a couple of, you know, bus coverages. Yeah, so, uh, this uh, Dalton Rice, the quarterback from uh, hits on a big uh, third down conversion there, right. kept a drive going. Exactly. Bentonville West has done really well on third downs tonight, uh, or excuse me, on fourth downs, or one of five on third downs, but here you see, you know, Springdale had some big plays, 5.8 yards per average uh, per, for rush here in the uh, the first half, but um, just negative plays at the wrong times. Right, and and something that we've kind of, it's kind of been turned around because they've actually had more plays than we have, and yep. normally we've been dominating that uh, on the other games. And this guy right here, Harrison Vincent, Vincent's been a problem yeah. for, uh, for Springdale. And uh, Dalton Rice, pretty accurate in the first half. Uh, over 200 yards passing, and uh, and Springdale's just going to have to find a stop here. They're, right. they're down by by uh, by 12. They're going to have to find two stops at some point. Um, you know, the injury to Jack Pounders, we don't know how serious it is, but right. we do see him on the sideline exactly. conversing with you know with his teammates. He has his pads on, does not right. have a helmet. So I think we're going to see Carson Hader the rest of the way. Exactly. You know, and that's and that, he's done a good job. He's making sure Carson's out there supporting his team, and and that's what that's what he does. And. Uh, you know, Carson's come in, done a good job, you know, being able to run the offense, and there doesn't seem to be a hiccup. He's He's got the cadence down. He's, he's running the ball. Matter of fact, his first play, he went for, I believe, 11 yards. So, you know, as we look at the highlights here, I mean, Springdale's had negative plays, and then you're going to have to do that against this offense. Here we see the final touchdown here. Caden Asserud uh, taking the pitch from uh, Carson Hader. He gets into the end zone on a 50-yard, that capped a 50-yard right. drive, and got Springdale within 12, but this play uh, right here, kind of a backbreaker at the end of the first yeah. half. Yeah, that was kind of just right across the middle, and that, that kind of seems to be, and I think they've had three touchdowns right down the middle. Yeah, they have. So teams are back onto the field. We're about ready to start the uh, second half. Bentonville West going to get the football to start, and, you know, I think the uh, you know the, the operative word here on this first drive is you got to get a stop. Stop, and no doubt. 100% agree with you. You know, and, and, and it's like a big button. we got to push that button, and, uh, you know, when, when Coach Hobbs was here earlier as a, as a defense coordinator, his big motto was press the reset button. Uh, and I know as a head coach, that kind of carries over uh, with him. And uh, our kids just, just just press the reset, play football, 
do what you're coached to do. And I, and I think sometimes kids want to try to make plays sometimes they can't make. And just do what you're coached to do sometimes. Bentonville West with 260 yards of total offense in the first half on 33 plays. Spring up with 152 on 26 plays. And, uh, you know, the dogs no, no nothing through the air. They haven't attempted right. a pass tonight. Um, and uh, I haven't turned it over, which was, you know, one of the things we talked about. Right. No turnovers, only three penalties in the first half. It was a clean game yeah, in, in the is. first half, but Springdale's going to have to get a stop here. <laughs> A.J. Woods has it teed up back deep for Bentonville West. <laughs> is uh, Haskins, Vincent, and it looks like uh, Braden Nash is near side. So here we go, second half underway. Glad to have you along on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. We got an onside kick. Springdale fighting oh. for it. They can't come up with it. Boy, Boy it was our, right there. Our kicker had it looked like he, he had the ball and he kind of scooped it to the guy. Great call right there and, and we had it actually. Yeah, that's one that's stealing a possession right you there. Springdale couldn't come up with it. And, man, uh, man. Great call right there and they, they executed up until getting the football. So Bentonville West going to start at the 45-yard line. That's uh, you know going to be among their best field position of the night. Now Springdale's defense got to find a way to keep them out of the end yes, zone. Yes, definitely. And again, this is huge right here. You know, a field goal doesn't kill them. I mean, it's still two scores, right. but you don't want to be chasing three scores at this point in the ball exactly. game. Exactly. First play of the second half coming up. Dalton Rice in the shotgun. He's got Cole Edmondson alongside. Rice to throw. He's going to go for the home run on the first play. Vonnie's going to take down. The wide receiver, Vincent, it's going to be another pass interference penalty, and Springdale is going to give them 15 yards, but not the big play. Yeah, and you know, and, and that's a situation there. If the, if the defensive back, I think if he's there, the quarterback had kind of thrown it up. I don't think it would have been completed. He, he had kind of thrown that kind of in a position where he thought the receiver might have been. And uh, uh, to be honest, I, I think it was a ball that probably wouldn't have been caught. So they'll mark, mark it down to the 40-yard line of Springdale on the first play of the second half. And now... Springdale, you know, enough negative plays in the first half to make you think, you know, they've, they've, they're doing their jobs here and, and just you know, let Bentonville West get away a couple right. of times on long third yeah. down conversions. Yeah, we've given them some free free shots here and we've, we just got to do a better job here of that. There's another deep ball looking for Mason Hawkins and he's going to overshoot him. He's open, just couldn't come down with and it. And that, and that down. was the exact same play just yep. to the other side. So it'll bring up second and ten. And this is, you know, we talked about this. It's like screens or bombs. He, he, that's all that Bentonville West runs. There's not a whole lot in the mid range. Right. You know, and that's, you know, that, and that may help us at some point, you know, if we can just maintain the, uh, getting those stops off the, off the uh, throws. Second and 10. This is going to be Edmondson. Springdale's good got job. him. Two yard loss, maybe three. And it's going to bring up third down and long. That was a good, that was a great push there by our interior lineman right there. And uh, we definitely needed that. Third and long. Yep. We've got a third and long upcoming. Clock running just 30 seconds into the second half here in Springdale now with a third down and long. And this has been a bugaboo yeah. most of the season here. Springdale getting off the field on third and fourth downs. This third and 12. Rice to throw. Stands in the pocket. Ball incomplete wow. on the far side. Good effort there. Yep. But it's going to fall incomplete. Now it's fourth down and 12 and no sign of the punt team coming out. Yeah, I know. Which doesn't surprise me. You know, I think I think uh, there he comes yeah, now. Yeah, now they're so. going to send him out. To, so the first, uh, well, let, let's make sure they punt it. Yeah. Rice is the punter. You know, we got a guy out here. I don't, I don't know if we see him over we there. Don't. Nobody's get, nobody sees him, and we got to get a guy out there. Uh, now they send Vonnie out. Again, the quarterback Dalton Rice is the punter. Snaps high. He'll get the kick away. It's an angling kick coming near side. It's going to co go out of bounds. They're going to mark it out at the 10. So Springdale's going to get the football after a 32-yard kick, and I think that's the best result I think Springdale yeah. could have hoped for. That's exactly what they needed to do, and uh, that's what they did, and that's a great job by the defense. So the Springdale offense is going to get the football. As I mentioned, 152 yards of total offense all on the ground. That's 5.8 yards per carry. They've moved the football. They've just sort yeah. of stopped themselves at times. Carson Hader is going to be at the quarterback spot. If you're just hopping on, Jack Pounders went out in the first, well, I guess it was in the first half, second, second quarter, quarter yeah. with, with an injury. He is okay you yeah. know, by, by the looks of it, just from what we can see. Yeah, I think you, you'd mentioned, I think his shoulder pads are off now. And uh, so he's, he's supporting his team. Now that Springdale going to line up in the eye, here's Ransell or Alana. He's going to get five yards, and the ball is loose. Wow. I wonder if they're going to call him down. 
We're waiting for a call here, nope. and they're going to give it to they're Bentonville West. So Springdale turns it over. Another fumble, and the dogs give it to Bentonville West on the 20-yard line. Well, that's definitely something you don't want right there coming off of off of a great defensive stop. You put the defense back uh, already in the red zone. So, you know, this is where the defense has got to tighten up the screws a little bit and, and play football and uh, get the ball back for us. So the Bentonville West offense comes back onto the field. We've, it feels like we've been here for a half an hour. He's yeah. played one minute and one second of the second half. I know it. You know, come on, defense. Let's come out there and let's play hard. Rice. Boy, I'll tell you what. If Tristan had turned yeah. his head, he may still be running. Exactly. He, he went uh, for the contact. Great play there by Tristan. And, but and here's the thing. People think, well, that's uh, interference. It's not. He's behind the ball. He's behind the line of scrimmage. So that's really a good play there. David Polite coming out holding his uh, left shoulder. You know, I think that's something with him hitting it so fast down like that, they'll come back now with that fake screen mm -hmm. and go. And that's something I know those coaches from Bentonville West saw that. Uh, Rice alone in the shotgun. Five wide receiver set. Here's Rice. He'll fire it near side. This is Hawkins with the catch. And now he's inside the 10, and he's going to get into the end zone for an easy Bentonville West touchdown. And, the six points here is going to make it 32-14, and now Springdale doesn't have a whole lot of margin for error. Right. You know, they've got to uh, definitely put put some things together right here and get it done on the offensive side. And, you know, turnovers, again, they capitalized on that turnover, and those are things we've got to eliminate. Ethan Greg will come out. They're going to send Burns in to try the extra points. He's uh, one for one on the night. Or check that. He's 0 for one on the night. No, no, now it's Greg. Boy, they're just moving guys in and out. This is uh, this is crazy. Announcer's nightmare. Greg, extra point on the way, and good. So our new score with 10:49 to go here in the third quarter. Bentonville West 33, Springdale 14. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Hi, this is Zach Arnes, the voice of the Springdale Bulldogs. Are you looking for a new career? Would you like to become a professional truck driver? The CDL Training School in Tawnytown, Arkansas is now opened and accepting new students. You can earn your CDL in just three short weeks with employment after you finish school and PAM Transport will cover your tuition. You will train in the same equipment you will drive once you earn your CDL. Plus, students also receive a $100 weekly stipend during training. Don't wait another minute. Call PAM Transport today. 888-498-2549. That's 888-498-2549. The Bentonville West scoring drives. Two plays, 20 yards. Mason Hawkins with the touchdown reception. And now Springdale with some work to do at 33-14. to 14. Yeah. The offense is going to get the football back. And, you know, you, you hit the reset button. You, you turn it over. Yeah. They, they get a quick score. But, you know, lo long way to go here. Long yeah. way to go. Possessions are super important right here. You know, this is, uh, you know, something we've got to make sure we got to maintain and uh, just get our composure back a little bit. Take a deep breath. And, uh, you know, offensively, just do what you do and, and try to relax a little bit. Don't force it. Ethan Gregg has it teed up. It's going to carry Vonnie into the end zone, and that will be a touchback. And Greg has got a big leg. That's a, you know, you as a coach, yeah. man, you know this. That's a weapon. That's when, you, when you pin him back on the 20 yard line and make him start there, that's, uh, that's a big deal. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking here, I think we've only had one one return. Most of our, the returns have been at the 20 because mm -hmm. it's been touchbacks. If you're looking for a silver lining here, Springdale's uh, been better than their opponents in the third quarter. They've outscored them 21 17 in. Four games, and they're going to need all of that we right now. You bet. So Springdale going to go to the eye. Kanagaki's the up back. Orlando the fullback. Carson Hader. He is the quarterback. Ten seconds on the play clock for the Dogs. Got a collision in the backfield. The ball's on the ground. You know, and again, got it back. Yeah, you know, this is a situation here. We 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 changed it up. You got a new quarterback in the game, and you've you know had back to back two, two mesh issues, and and those are things we got to get corrected. And you know, Carson's going to do it. Just got to relax, take a deep breath, and run the offense. You know, he's a sophomore. He's learning. You know, he's he's put in a situation where he's got to step up and be be the player right here. So it's a one yard loss. It's going to be second and eleven. Clock running with 10:15 to go here in the third quarter. Same formation. This is Orellana. He's going to get up over the 20 yard line. Yep. But they're going to give him the 23, and it's going to bring up third down and long. 
Four-yard pickup for Rancel. He had a good night last week against Heritage, over 100 yards. He's right. bottled up tonight. Four carries, 16 yards. This now a third down and seven. You know, I, I, you know, this is to me, this is a big play right here for us on the offensive side. We've got to try to keep the defense off the field right now. It's Kanagaki still fighting. He's going to get a first down. What great effort there by Lodgkin Kanagaki getting just past the first down marker. The dogs will move the chains. Well, I'm going to tell you what, anybody else, I'm not sure he gets it. But, exactly. But I'm telling you, because of, because of his effort and just his want to, that uh, great job, great effort by by him running the football right Lodge there. Get now with 51 yeah. yards on 11 carries tonight, 4.6 average. He came in leading the team in rushing with 376 yards. Has three TDs on the year. Now at first and 10, same formation. It's ass root in motion. Here comes Kanagaki again. You can see him. I mean, he loves he that it. contact. He's looking, yeah, he really does. Yeah, that safety didn't want any part of that. He kind of cut him down there. But, uh, yeah. Lodzki is definitely looking for the contact. They put it down at 37. It's a seven-yard pickup. It'll bring up second down and a, uh, we'll call it three. It's a sh long four, short three. 35 to go here in the third quarter. Springdale, you can get a score here. Yep. You know, your defense has been hanging in there. Right. You, know, right. You, you may be able to get something out of this. Exactly. Second down. Here's Hayter on the pitch. Vani goes airborne, and he's going to get up close to first down yardage. Good effort there by Springdale <laughs> Jr., and I think he's got it. Sure does, so it's going to be enough for a Springdale first down on Vani's first carry of the ballgame. Four-yard pickup. Springdale move the chains again. It's their 13th first down of the night. Good job there. You know, definitely got to, you know, we got to control the ball, but we need to score as well. Need to get some points on the board. So first and 10 for Springdale, ball at the 41 yard line. Vonnie's the tailback. Carson gonna throw his first pass as a varsity football player looking for Khalil Marks, sailed a little high. That's gonna go incomplete. You know, I see, I look at Khalil, he's kind of holding his hands. He kind of looked down and I look at the quarterback and he looks like you can tell Khalil must have run a different route than what Carson obviously threw, so. But so, that's okay. Oh, yeah. First first pass of the game. Springdale, again, I mentioned early in the first half, attempted a uh, season-high five passes against uh, Heritage last week. This now going to be second down and 10. Hater, Nice little fake there. 50-yard line. Good I think he's there. real close to first down yards. Well, he's got a little wiggle to him, he doesn't does. he? He does. He does a good job. He... Uh... That was a good move right there. He kind of faked the defensive guy out, and he faked the pitch. So he got enough. He got enough little burst that he can get that. Great job there by, by Carson. So good job. The sticks. It's a first down for Springdale. Carson now. Couple of rushes on the on the night. Haters four carries, 25 yards, long at 12. That one was 10 yards, and now a first and 10 with the ball at the 49 yard line. Carson going to throw again. He's looking for Khalil, and no call. Khalil goes to the turf. Carson took a big shot. Wow. Now, Coach was talking about this week, you know, the speed difference that Khalil yeah. can give you on the outside. You saw it right there as he accelerated past. But right. that, I thought he got tangled up. You can call it incidental if you want, but uh, Khalil, the speed difference when he is uh, out in open field is He's pretty dramatic. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a difference out there. You know, now you got... Lodgkin running out to uh, receive This is the formation now. that they opened yep. the game with. Now they're going to bring, bring him back. back in. 15 on the play clock. It's second down and 10. Ball at the 49-yard line. 7.07 to go. The, the game is sort of slowed down yeah. here in the third quarter. Hader will go under center. Here's Vonnie. Oh. 
He's going to well, get he's just three. A, yeah, he, he kind of, you know, and that's a, that's a play where, and, it, and this is the hardest thing for, for young kids to understand in this offense. They want to try to bounce it out, and when they bounce it out, it strings it. Instead of it, sometimes it's a bang instead of a bend, and that time the, the player just kind of bend it out a little bit. When he does, it kind of cuts off his, his momentum, and that's kind of what happened right there. So now a third down and long. Ball sitting at the 47-yard line. Springdale tonight, three out of five on third downs. This is going to be a third down and eight. Clock running 6.35 to go in the quarter. Carson is going to be dragged down back at the 50-yard line. Now it's fourth down. What do you do, Coach? Uh, you know, I think it's a situation here. You try to maybe put them a little deep. It's fourth and 11. Uh, I think he probably punts right here, yeah. But, you know, there's not, not a lot of fourth and 11 play calls in this yeah. offense, unfortunately. And... Uh, we, we, we were going well, and we kind of got stalemated a little bit. And uh, you take a play back and forth again, like a, like I was talking about earlier, uh, and it's a different game right here. It's probably go for it. But on this one, I think you got to punt. A.J. Woods in the punt. Three punts tonight, an average of 28.3 yards. Back deep for Bentonville West, Jackson Brust. High snap over A.J.'s head. Woods trying to get it, and he's going to get the kick away. And it's going to be received at the 35-yard line. And... Bentonville West going to start with the football inside the Springdale 30-yard line. So a special teams error on Springdale is going to give Bentonville West the football at the 28-yard line. And now Springdale's got uh, a defense going to have to bow up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they do. they got to... They got tight screws down right there. And uh, again, you know, we talked about the, the special teams being part of the, the, the game. So we've got to do a good job making sure we get that corrected. So it's first and 10 ball at the 28 yard line. Dalton Rice in the shotgun. 5.41 to go here in the quarter. Rice fires far side. He's got a man open at the 25 yard line. And he's going to be real close to first down yardage. In fact, they're going to give it to him at the 17. So it's an 11-yard pickup and a first got, down. He's got a flag on the field. Looks All like right. it's in the, at the line. So it may be, uh, maybe a cut. We've got one coming off. It's kind of like he was holding his leg there. So ineligible. Okay. Line. We'll take that. So we'll take that. That'll uh, that will back up the Wolverines back to the 33-yard line. You know, and that, that happens a lot, too, when you're running those RPOs and you're throwing them long like that. You're going to have linemen downfield sometimes because they're thinking run. And uh, when you run an RPO, that happens. 5.26 to go here in the third quarter. I think this, this is definitely a stop here. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. Sorry. First and 15, ball at the 34-yard line. Here's Rice. He just throws that one away. Brayden Connor, the nearest player to it. It's going to bring up second down. Good pressure there by Leo De La Sancha. Got to hold another flag there. Got to hold it. Yeah, you move him back. Don't yeah, you? I think without question, you, you do. You don't. Well, they sure are. So that'll back them up. It's going to be first and 25. And then you expect a screen. They're going. They're screen heavy team anyway. So this is. Put the ball at the 44-yard line. Still first down. The line to make is the 24, so it's first and 20. Or 30, excuse me. This is Edmondson. He's going to be dragged down. Brandon Lauder's got him maybe a yard on that one. And good, good run defense there by, uh, by Springfield. I was talking to the coach this week about Brandon and, you know, the game last week against Heritage is what they expect yeah. from him. And he's getting comfortable. At, you know, you said it. Yeah. He's a natural inside linebacker. There's no doubt. But getting comfortable at that rush linebacker spot. Yeah, you bet. And, and he, does, he does a great job. A lot of it just because he, he's a linebacker mindset without question. Yeah. He just he wants to hit. He wants to run. And I love watching him play. Ball at the 43-yard line. It's second down. Line to make just inside the 19. They're going to go bunch formation to the top. I mean, we're a little outnumbered up there. Yeah. Rice to throw. Protection's good. Rice fires. Man, wide open at the 24-yard line. It's Brust. He's going to get close to first down yardage at the 22. Go leave him about four yards short. 21-yard pickup. 
That's going to bring up third down and four. West tonight, one out of six on third downs. Springdale defense in need of a stop here. Rice, under pressure, they've got the screen set up and he's got nothing but turf in front of him. Vinson into the end zone, touchdown Bentonville West. Got caught in the blitz on the screen and Harris Vinson takes it into the end zone. Yep. Again, you mentioned how they were screen heavy. Very screen heavy. It's it's 90% of their pass game is something short. And this is, uh, they caught Springdale in a blitz, in an all-out blitz. And they're going to send Greg in for the extra point to try to make this a 26-point lead. Boy, they just flip-flop kickers. Who's in next? This is a lefty here. Yeah. This is Nicholas Byrne. Snaps a little low. Ross going to throw it to the back of the end zone, knocked away. So the two-point conversion doesn't work. And Springdale is going to get away here. It's 39-14 to 14 in a 25-point lead. Got a flag. It's got to be an ineligible well, man down looks seat. Like, well, it looks like we hit the center. And there's a flag right there by, and he was on his back. So they'll move it half the distance there. Personal foul. Sure enough. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess he's going to kick. Yeah, he's going to kick it again. He may decline it to keep the angle where it's at. No, nope, he's going to move it up. You know, a lot of times when it's half the distance, they keep it there so you, you don't change anything for the kicker. So Byrne will try again. 345 to go here in the quarter. Kicks on the way. And good. So our new score. Bentonville West 40, Springdale 14. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Joe and Larry here with Sam's Furniture. We just wanted to thank you for your business and to let you know that your purchase helps serve so many people. That's right. The culture here at Sam's is to love and serve others in our community and around the globe. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many organizations we partner with. You enable us to invest in our children, teachers, veterans, development in Africa, and distributing wheelchairs to those in need around the world. You are a part of this. So from the Sam's Furniture family to yours, thank, thank you. you. 40 to 14, our score 345 to go here in the third quarter. The Scoring drives, three plays, 28 yards. And now Springdale's got to get to work. Yeah. If you're going to get back in the ball game. This is, uh, is going to, it, it's you now got, or never. Yeah, you got you to gotta put some points on the board. Update, on update out of Fayetteville. Rodgers leads Fayetteville tonight. 11.43 to go in the third quarter, 28-21. Rodgers wow. can score a ton of points. They can. You know, and, and to me, we talked about them earlier, kind of mm -hmm. being kind of under the radar. All right. So that that's a, that's a team that's very athletic, and Coach Harvest has done a really good job yeah. with them. Burns has it teed up. Springdale going to get the football here. One short and end over end. Asserud's going to take it at the six. Kate looking for a little seam. 25, 30. Kate Asserud still going. He's going to get up to the 35 yard line. So nice return there by Kate Asserud. Again, Kate just does a good job moving the, just keeping his feet moving. And that, and this, you know, on this particular special team, that's what you got to be able to do. So Springdale's going to get the football, 28-yard return there by Caden gives the dogs good field position, but now you've got to punch this thing in. You've got to start to, you've you, hey, you got to get scores, you got to get stops, and the way this offense works and the way Bentonville West's offense works is, look, you, uh, possessions are at a premium here with yes. 3.37 to go in the third quarter. No doubt. Carson Hader brings out the offense, first and 10, ball at the 35-yard line. Ball's on the ground, and Bentonville West has it. Another turnover for Springdale is going to give Bentonville West the football at the 17-yard line, and we got a late flag. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's something, you know, you got, it looks like a little frustration maybe. I'm not sure if it's us, but it kind of looks like it may be on them. Uh, yeah, you know, the White Hat's kind of looking to that sideline, telling them, making sure to let the coach know it. It's definitely on uh, West. Yeah. So Bentonville West will get flagged for the penalty. Well, it's definitely something we didn't need right there. They no. kind of got the penetration through, and uh, Carson pulled it off the fake, and when he did, he, he tried to make the pitch and got hit, and they picked it up. And uh... They're going to put it back at the 32-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from the 32, 40-14 our score. 
With 3.29 to go here in the third quarter, this feels like Springdale's last stand yeah. if, if you're going to try and get back yeah, into Yeah, you know, this is something they've got to they got to do a good job right here and, and make sure they're, they're getting lined up, they're doing what they're supposed to, and, and be smart right here. Don't let your emotions kind of get away from them either. Dalton Rice in the shotgun. Cole Edmondson alongside. This will be Edmondson. Across the 30-yard line. It's going to be run out of bounds after a couple. And it'll bring up second down. Clock stops 322 to go. Good job there again. Stringing it out. I know they got about four or five yards, but the corner did a good job out here. Looked like he may be in hell a little bit, but he did a good job holding, holding his water a little bit and holding the ground there. So it's for a four-yard pickup. Brings up second and six. This is Rice on the option. He's got Edmondson. And he's going to get maybe a yard or two out of that. Good play there. I think Brandon Water down at the bottom of that pile. Jacob Simpson, check that. Good play there by Jacob. It's going to bring up a third down. And we'll call it four. Yeah, that, you know, that's just a straight speed option. He's looking at that outside edge player coming off the edge. Quarterback takes it. And uh, if he takes him, he pitches it. If he takes the pitch back, he keeps it. And good play by their quarterback that time. So third down, ball at the 26-yard line. Line makes the 22. We need to get one of those Big yellow. Play. We need to get one of those yellow line things. Yeah, That'll make life a whole lot easier for the old people like me. Two running backs. It's Vinson and Edmondson, and they like to move Vinson here. Yep, they do. This is going to be Edmondson straight ahead, and he's going to get the first down at the 21-yard line. Looks like Zach. We had him there at the, kind of at the point of attack, and he kind of he pulled through there on the tackle on second effort and uh, got your first down. Five-yard pickup is going to move the yep. chains. West will uh, keep the drive going here at the 21. Clock running, 2.22 to go here in the third quarter. Change is coming for the Springdale defense. Looks like Santana's checked in. David Polite's back in. There's your bunch set again. Rice to throw. Now rolling far side. We like Raxon yep, there. Raxon, he closed quick, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. He sure did. He, he uh, kind of watched him out there. He did a good job kind of maintaining. Tried to go back, then came up, watched the quarterback's eyes a little bit and read that. Uh, so to bring up second down and 10, the pass goes incomplete. 158 to go here in the third quarter. Looks like they're trying to get the, the play. It looks kind of like West is kind of waiting for the plays now. Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of a lot slower than what you're A lot you slower, yeah. Not typical of them. Looks like they're not going to get it all. Well, they did. They did. Rice flushed. Springdale's got it hemmed in. And it's it's going to be a, a, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a loss of two. It's going to go down as a sack. To Lauder. Yeah, Lauder gets another one. <laughs> That's going to be a, a loss of three yards. And now, they bring right with an opportunity to get off the field. Yeah, third and long for them. So, it's going to be huge. West has been – West has uh, struggled on third downs, just three of eight, but three of four on fourth downs has really been where they've, uh, they've made their money. Yeah. This a third down and 13. Dalton Rice will throw. Springdale after him, and he's going to throw it out of bounds. And he's going to bring up fourth down, and we'll see. Ethan Gregg has the leg to hit from here, but uh, no sign that the kicking you know, team's with, coming on. With the point, the score the way it is, he might try to give him a shot. I don't think so. He's going to leave his offense out there. This will be fourth down and 13. Got a report that Fayetteville's tied that game up with Rodgers at 28. Wow. Good, good one going on that, down at yeah. Harmon Field. All right, this is a fourth and 13. 114 to go in the third quarter. Rice. Flushed far side. He's going to throw it for the end zone and out of bounds, and the Springdale defense gets their stop. Good job there by the defense. Good job by the defense. Put in a bad spot. The dogs turn them away. Yep. Now the offense will get the football back. It's been a, it's been a, uh, a tough third quarter for the Springdale it offense. It has been, and that's kind of, kind of, a, 
kind of a twist to kind of what we've done all year. And third quarter's kind of been our, th our quarter. It really has. So, you know, this is something that we've got to just get corrected. And, you know, Carson's coming in right here, the new second half here, and let's let's try to get some things moving again. 105 to go in the third quarter. Spring out with the football. Carson Hader under center. Lodgkid is the fullback. Go back to the bone. Here's Lodgkid with a big hole. 30-yard line. Wow. Holds a guy first down. And we're going to get a flag. Kind of a late flag. I don't know what... Can you hurdle, guys? Personal foul. So we'll wait and see. They threw it sort of where Lodgkit landed. Yeah, but it came from the, the the far side over there from the other line judge. So I'm not sure exactly who that might have been on. So they're going to push Springdale back 15 yards. See where they ultimately put this thing down. Well, that was, you know, that was a good play there. And next thing you know, we get a... And it wipes out a seven-yard run. You know, good run there by Lodge. It's going to push them all the way back to the 16. And just, try to, just try to run your offense right here. See where they're outnumbered and try to get a play. Here's Kanagaki running over, guys. Lodge kit. Well, he got to the 31. Yeah. And, and, and when he got into that second level, to me, it looked like he was looking for people to hit. Ultimately, he winds up exactly where they were prior to the penalty. So yeah. he picks up the 15 yards. And now a second down with the clock running and 23 seconds to go here in the, fourth, uh, in the third quarter. Springdale faces a second down, and we'll call it three. Hockey again. And not much there this time. Ball comes loose, and they're going to say he was down. They're going to give him a yard on the play, and that'll be the last play of the third quarter. So our score, after three, Bentonville West 40, Springdale 14. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Accidents are never planned. But no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. We start the fourth quarter. Our score is Bentonville West 40, Springdale 14. And, Coach, you know, you, you, you look for silver linings in games like this. And uh, Bentonville West has handled Springdale the last two years pretty well. Springdale didn't score right. a point against them. So, right. it's, it, you know, you see the progress. And, you know, losing Jack early, I think Carson's come in and done about as well as you can expect. He's shown, yes. you know, he's shown some flashes, but right. he's just an inexperienced uh, yep. young man. You know, and, that's one of those things where anytime you bring somebody new, it's, it's, it's a different – it's a different person, and uh, it's taking some time to even see when Jack's running the offense. It's taking some time, so you know, I, you know, you got to give Carson credit, and he's come in and he's done a really good job. It's been, you know, Jack's been supporting them. So third down, three. Here comes Lodgkit. First down yardage across the forty-five, or excuse me, the, across the forty, and that's going to be enough for Springdale first down. Good run there by Lodgkit Kanagaki. Gonna mark him at the 44. And we've got a Bentonville West player that's down. It's a 12-yard pickup. And we're gonna take a quick timeout while they tend to him. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. 40 to 14. Our score. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television.
Goodbye, paperwork. Hello, convenience. Farewell waiting. Hello, personal service. Catch you later, dreaming. Hello, planning. Buy your dream home, connect with a personal banker, and easily schedule an appointment with digital tools from Arvest Bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. Xander McKinnis, the injured Wolverine, walked off the field under his own power. Good to see. It's first and 10 for Springdale. Clock running, 11.45 to go here in the ball game. Springdale just trying to put something together here. Nice long march would be wonderful. This is a first and 10. Here's Carson. They get a couple up past the 45-yard line. And you know, that's again, like I was telling you, the bend and the bang, the difference in, you know, this offense, they, they, they want them going vertical. Uh, and sometimes it, it looks like it kind of bends outside a little bit, but it's it's tough. It's hard to do that. And once you kind of get your bearings, it's it's a lot easier on the offense. Two-yard pickup's going to bring up second down and eight. It's going to deal with 209 yards on the ground tonight, leading rusher so far. It's Lodgkit. He's got 15 carries for 78 yards. This will be second and eight. Something happened there in the uh, the backfield, and now we're going to get a personal get a foul. Yeah, yeah, 65. Carson was down. He kind of came down up on him, and I think got the got the wind knocked out of him. He's, I think he's fine. He just kind of landed on the ball, got the wind knocked out of him. He's all right. He's good. So they put the ball down at the 41, and we'll wait to see what the penalty is. Sure enough, a personal foul. I think 65 came in a little late. He was, uh, they had come from the backside, and uh, Vincent had kind of made the tackle, and then 65 thought he was going to be a little part of the, the tackle himself and got a 15-yarder out of it. So Springdale will get the first down at the 42-yard line. Clock will stop momentarily now and running. Rancel Orellana has checked in for the Bulldogs. Noel Howard, Caden uh, Asserud, the Slot backs, Khalil Marks, Hayden Brown, the wide receivers. This is Carson Hader, the quarterback. Carson, got room. Nice little run there by yep. Carson Hader. He's going to get inside the 30-yard line. Good job there. And it'll be a Springdale first down. 13 yards on the run for Carson. He's starting to uh, pick up some totals here. Yeah, good job by the twirl motion there. A little counter action coming back to us this way. And Carson did a good job reading the defense and, and making a good run. So first and 10, ball to 29-yard line. Carson directing traffic here. Plenty of time on the play clock. Hater to Asserud. Caden will get a couple down to the 27-yard line. It'll wind up being a two-yard pickup. It'll bring up second down and eight. Yeah, that, you know, that was a pretty good play there. That was another option there, and that time he pulled it, pitched it, and Caden did a good job and got a block, and that guy just kind of came down the line playing with him. And I just can't get over how natural Carson, I mean, for a kid who hasn't played at all this year, you know, how yeah. natural he looks running this yeah, offense. He does a good job just running the offense. does a really good job. Second down, eight yards to go. This is Orellana straight ahead, and he's going to power his way over the 25-yard line. They're going to give him the 24, and it'll bring up a third down. Coming up on nine minutes to go in the ball game. Springfield just kind of needs a score here yeah. to kind of. You know, this is a situation too where we, you know, with the score, and, and you know, just do your offense and get things moving in the direction it needs to move in right now. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Just run your offense, pitch it, and then put it in the end zone. Third down, five. Looks like they just start, started the play clock, so Springfield's got plenty of time there. It looks like the defense kind of go to a forefront. Outside backers have kind of widened a little bit, and they've kind of taken advantage of that. Carson's not going to get there. They're going to lose about a half yard back to the 25. It's going to bring up fourth down. Mm -hmm. 
So Springdale face a fourth down here. They have not gone for it on fourth down tonight. They're four and eight now on third downs, and it looks like they're going to yeah. take a take a chance here and go for it on fourth down and six. No question. I think you have to right here and uh, try to give yourself a chance to get back in moving the direction you need to, like I was talking about. So fourth down and six. Hader will go under center. Here comes the toss to Caden. Trying to get to the outside. He's got first down yardage flag oh. down, and I think they're going to get you know, Springdale for holding. Yeah, they, we've talked so good about that perimeter blocking out there, and, you know, he did a – Caden did a great job reading the block, and looks like they're going to call us for holding right there on the edge. Sure enough, holding against Springdale. So that will back him up, and now – you know, not a lot of plays in the uh, the no. playbook for this. It's just the fourth penalty of the night for Springdale. Just at the wrong time. Right. Ball be placed at the 33-yard line. And now it's fourth down and 14. Hader will go under center. It's Asserud in motion. They're going to try a little reverse, and that's not going to go anywhere. Vincent with the tackle on Khalil Marks, and Springdale's going to turn the football over. So it winds up being a four-yard loss. And now Bentonville West will get the football here with 7.13 to go in the ballgame. They lead by 26. And it looks like they're going to send... Dalton Rice and the entire starting offense back onto the field here to try and yeah, get one more drive. That's Pratt. That no, no, that's me. Brian Pratt. No. That, that, that <laughs> and, uh, surprised you know. me one bit. No. That's what he's going to do. You know, and that's, you know, here's the thing. It's, uh, now, it's he did, it. now, hang on. Now, he did send out, uh, this is the backup quarterback I've heard a little bit about, Trey Thompson. Edmondson's the running back alongside. Trey Thompson's got a big arm, and he can move around a little bit. Here's Edmondson straight ahead. Shem Paul there to make the stop up at the 40. You yeah, know, there's that. another one. Shem Paul does it. Well, his motor runs hard. He, he's a kid that uh, played at George and uh, for me as well, and he, he plays hard. We're seeing some of the younger guys yeah. that, that we're going to see as the, uh, you know, as these guys uh, get later in the season, Springdale needs to to develop some depth. Shem, depth, exactly. Shem, Shem is one of those guys. Yes, there's no doubt. You know, Shem, so it's kind of like Yeah, that was like Rax and Rush. Yeah. yeah He's, he's one of those kids that, that they, their motor plays hard. You know, Carson was one of them, too. For that, he's in that same group. Mm -hmm. And they all, they're, uh, that's a good group there. It's going to be good. Second down, seven. <laughs> On the carry there, Braden Nash. He'll get up close to the 45-yard line. We'll bring up third down. Big play right here. Yeah. Building a little confidence here. Yeah. Sammy, I see us uh, see, uh, checked in. Gavin Connors in as well. So some of the young guys from Springdale getting some reps here. Springdale didn't jump off sides. No, got close. They were, they were far enough off the ball that they didn't. Clock running 5.48 to go here in the ball game. It's Trey Thompson with four on the play clock. This is Nash across the 50-yard line, first down, Bentonville West. Well, he did a good job putting his shoulders down and running behind them there. That's a good job. Well, mark it at the 46. Clock will stop momentarily as they set the chains. And now, look there at Tristan Skelton, free safety for Springdale. You know, these, these are the times right now you know, where you look for the positive things. What, what, are, what, are, what are our kids doing, lining up? They're doing things right. They're reading their assignments. This is Nash. Springdale going to bring him down to 39. Tristan Skelton there on the tackle. Also Gavin Connor. It's going to be a seven-yard pickup. Bring up second and three. This clock continues to run here, 445. This 
some of those young guys. Yep, getting just some get, reps. Just, yep, just getting their reps. They, you know, they got just to. Just hear uh, Rattricks in as well. Unfortunately, with the, there's that play action there for that RPO. You know, no, that's a that's a starter there getting reps against against their starter receiver, and uh, William Anderson on the reception. Mason Hawkins with the uh, with the pass, and that's just like you said. Anderson's a, a starter. He's got a couple catches tonight. Yeah, They're going to mark it down here at the eight yard line. It's a thirty one yard pickup. Now and they they bring him out after that one, but you know that's that's that surprised me. You know, so that's. Part, that's par for the course, and hey, our guys just got to keep playing, keep, keep plugging along. So first and goal, ball at the eight-yard line. We go into the four-minute mark here with 3.50 to go. Trey Thompson back in at the quarterback spot. This is Nash. He's going to get into the end zone for another Bentonville West touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, that's just that outside read, zone read that they're, uh, they've kind of run. That's kind of their offense there. They run that, and they, they run the RPO off of it, and then they're going to just throw. Bentonville West going to send on the extra point team. Who have we got kicking this well, time? This will be Byrne again, the lefty. I think they've used, what, four kickers? Four, four different kickers tonight, Maybe, yeah. Uh, and we're going to get a timeout, Bentonville West. They had guys running on and off the field. So we'll take the timeout with them. 3.37 to go in the ballgame. 46-14 our score. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. And it's good. good. Introducing the Springdale Public Schools Paper Football Tournament. Get ready for a showdown like no other where the game comes alive on paper. It's not just a child's game, it's a battle of wits. Who will claim victory and etch their name in Springdale history? Experience the thrill of victory only on the Springdale Athletic Foundation YouTube channel. Three thirty-seven to go in the ballgame. Bentonville West has the extra point team on the field. This is Nicholas Byrne to try the extra point. Snaps good, kicks on the way, and it's good. So our new score with 3.37 to go, Bentonville West 47, Springdale 14. We'll be right back. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Our Kansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. The West scoring drive, six plays, 63 yards, ends with a Nash touchdown run of eight yards, and now Springdale going to get the football back probably for the last time here in the ball game. Coach, just looking for a couple of positives to right. get things uh, going yes. for next week. I, you know, I hate to point this out, but it's a big one next week with yeah. uh, with Benton, or with or uh, Harbor. Come, yeah, no uh, I guess we're going over there. And you start talking about playoff triangles. Right. You know, two wins in conference usually gets you in. Right. Uh, they are handling Heritage tonight. Heritage does not have a win. This becomes almost an elimination game. Right, exactly. You know, and that's one of those things that we kind of dealt with maybe if not last year the year before the same situation so kickoffs an end over end shot coming to khalil at the 10. khalil marks get up to about the 25 yard line we got a flag down thrown by a referee standing at the 50 yard line i can't wait to see what this is Well, that that was kind of just came out of nowhere. Well, he was. I mean, he was on He's the back op, here, yeah. he was on the the uh, he was on about the forty nine of Bentonville West, threw the flag, kind of like a yard dart. Yep, they're gonna call holding. Wow, how do you make that call? I don't know from where where you're at. I've never seen that in my life. Well, we've seen some crazy things. Yeah, you? we we've seen some stuff. Springdale is gonna get the football first and ten. Three twenty eight to go here. They're going to put it down at the 16-yard line. 
man. I think Coach Hobbs is asking the same thing. How do you see something from 55 yards away? Exactly. So first and 10, Carson Hader under center. It's Orlana straight ahead. He's going to get up to about the 20-yard line. That's it. And it's going to bring yep. up second down. It'll be a four-yard pickup. Man, you know, like I said, just keep things positive right here. You know, Carson's got to come in and, and finish this off. You want to make sure he's reading, he's doing what he's supposed to on the offensive side, and that's what you're looking for, positives. We're about to hit the three-minute mark in the ball game. Here comes the pitch. It's Vonnie coming near side. He's going to be run out of bounds. Gotta check that Noel with Noel, the carry. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got first down yardage across the 31-yard line. He hasn't touched the ball much tonight. They yeah. hasn't been targeted in the passing game at all. He's really yeah. been the most dangerous receiver Springdale's had. Right. You know, and, he, and, and here's a kid that didn't play junior high football. He played. You know, he was on the basketball for the junior high, and then came out in offseason, and he's done a really good job. So the clock running with 2.50 to go. Springdale has the first down at the 31-yard line. Carson Hader under center. Another pitch. Here's Caden Asserud going far side. 35-40. Caden down the sidelines into West Territory. He's going to be run out of bounds. And they'll mark him out at the 46. Nice pick up there by Springdale. Caden has certainly added a little dimension to this yeah, offense he's, he's that they didn't speed have before. Factor that's, that's been positive for us without question. And, and we saw that in the first drive right. without question. You bet. The clock stops with 2.33 to go. Carson Hader will let the chains get set. Now Carson will bring the offense up. He'll go under center for Orlana, the fullback. Here's Orlana, 40-yard line, 35. Run it over, Good guys, job. down to the 33. It's another Springdale first down. Good job there, just moving the ball, doing what you're supposed to do there. Clock stops momentarily at 223. Now running again as they set the chains. First and 10 for Springdale. Kate Nasserud going to check out. Coming in, I think it's 25 there. Springdale going deep into the bench tonight. Here comes the pitch. This is Noel. 25, and he's going to be run out of bounds. The 25 yard line, he'll pick up. Looks like it's going to be about an eight, nine yard pickup. He'll be close to first down yardage. He's going to be second and short. Well, you know, you got right at the two-minute mark. So uh, just finish strong. Be positive right here. And, and like I said, you're looking for those positive things. Good job there by the offense, just keeping the ball moving. Jacoby Mason, number 25, gotcha. checked in at the slot back spot. He's a guy that I know Coach Hobbs likes a lot. This is Orlana with a hole. Rancel. Good job running. Down near Good the 10-yard line. Good hard run yeah, there by was. Rancel Orlana. You know, those are the things you're looking for right now. You know the score's out of – you're not even looking at the score. You're looking at the things that they can do execution-wise, and that's what you want to see. Clock stops at 151. Now running again. First and goal. Ball at the 10. Springdale so with a chance here to get a touchdown on the final drive of the ball game. Hater under center. There's Orlana. Get down near the five yard line. Rancel, a good looking sophomore. Good job, yeah, he is. And we've got some sophomores that are really, they're going to have to step up and play big. And, and right now they're getting some reps to be able to do that. And, and that's what you want to see. And they're, they're doing a good job right now. It's, it's awful hard to enforce that, but they're doing good. Second and goal ball at the six. Here comes the pitch. This is Asaru. He is going to get down to the one. Yard line, and yep. it's going to be stopped there with 103 to go in the ball game. It's going to bring up third down and goal. I want to give a big shout out to my wife at home listening and watching. So, thank you, Michelle. Now, when she gets home, does she have a scouting report for you? She probably does. <laughs> she's she is a true coach's wife, and she's done it for 29 years now. So I'm sure she does. <laughs> she tell you all the things you did exactly. wrong. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. I love it. Third and goal for Springdale. Carson Hader hands straight ahead or a lot into the end zone. Touchdown Springdale with 30 seconds to go in the ballgame. The dogs get on the board.
You know, and that's again, that you're looking at a sophomore quarterback, you're looking at Orlana there, and uh, you're looking at kids that are going to be kids that are going to have to help us. Mm -hmm. So, Springdale, it's their 20th point of the ball game, and now, looks like confusion as to who's coming on here. Carson's yeah. going to stay on, so they're going to go for two. Yeah, what's the point differential is going to put it at, yep. 29 seconds to go in the ball game, and Carson Hader has the offense on the field, and Orlando the fullback. This for two points. They're going to pitch it to Asserud. Kate is going to get into the end zone for the two point conversion, and Springdale cuts the lead to 47 22 with 29 seconds to go. So, nice, uh, nice drive there by Springdale yeah. to uh, sort of cap this one off. Right. And, you know, something to build on as we go into next week. Yeah, and that's definitely after, you know, you're telling me to score with the Harbor. They they definitely need to be ready for that. And you got to go to Harbor. Yep. So uh, yeah, they're and getting better. That's going to, yeah, they they have gotten better. I mean, they, they took uh, – they they, they 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 took it on chin a couple times early yeah. this uh, early in the uh, in the non-con, but they have played better, played yep. really well against Bentonville for a half last week, really handing it to Heritage this week, and now uh, you know we we roll in there next week in a, in a game that's not just a rivalry game, but a game that uh, is going to mean a lot as it, far as playoffs go. Yeah, there exactly. you see it, 7 p.m. Donald Tucker and I'll be there next week uh, over at uh, Wildcat Stadium and. Uh, it's going to be wild. To, you know, it's always a great scene when Springdale and Harbor get together, and uh, games always seem to mean a whole lot. You know, it, it, it's amazing, you know, because Springdale Harbor, and it, it's one of those games where, you know, at some at some point you kind of wish they could be back playing Springdale football. Yeah. And, you know, you got two two great teams playing against each other. It's a real emotional game as it is. So, uh, you know, I'm sitting here, and then, you know, we're sitting here, and we're talking, and A.J. Woods gets set to kick off, and you're just thinking, man, what if what if they recovered that onside kick? That's right. Second First, half? I mean, how right. much of an emotional change you does bet. that game, does that play there make? Here's an onside kick right now. Springdale's got the football. 45 seconds to go. Springdale's going to get the football back, and I'm sure that Brian Pratt's not going to be thrilled with that. Probably not, but you know, hey, it is what it is, and our coaches on our sideline, if they're protecting their players and making sure their players are – excited and, and ready to go and uh our kids want to do it and that's what they got to do and you know coach hobbs is man it, it's awesome coaching for coach hobbs and he does a great job with that staff and even with the feeder coaches as well and those kids it's uh it's, it's good to be with so springdale's got the football 29 seconds to go with a chance here possibly put some you know they, they were gashing them there on that last yeah. drive so you know, an opportunity maybe to uh we're going to get a timeout. Yeah, the, I think Pratt's fixed to put – he's probably fixed to put some starters back in. Probably. And uh, I don't know. You know, this may be a time for Carson to maybe throw a pass right here. Yeah, might, might give it a shot here. He's uh, shown the ability to get it deep. Yep. You know, Khalil's shown the ability to get, you know, get get some separation. That's so. right. You know, you've got uh, – and you got Caden with the, with a little speed. you got Khalil with some speed. So, you got two guys, like you talked about with uh, – with some with some speed and, and Caden definitely tonight has has shown that he is he he's kind of that speed factor that does make a difference. And depending on you know where Jack is physically, you know mm -hmm. Carson may Carson's going to have a, a huge poor, a huge part in the uh, the Harvard right. Springdale game next week. Well, and he's got to get those reps as a backup, even you know uh, with that. And and uh, we know what Jack can do. We know right now. You know, Carson's kind of been thrown in the fire. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's done a good job. He's a young kid that's trying to learn this offense. He's a very athletic kid. He's a smart kid. So, you know, he's done a good job of this. So Carson will go under center. Springdale with the football. 29 seconds to go in the ball game. They're going to go to Rancel straight ahead up to yep. the 40-yard line. The clock continues to run here with 20 seconds to go. Springdale may get one play yeah, I think off they're going to try to get another playoff right here. This may be the one where you're talking about trying to get an extra shot in right here. Ten seconds to go in the ball game. Hater goes under center. Yep, here it is right here. Looks like a little Viking down the middle of the field. And we're going to get a flag for interference. Two seconds left. Going to move us up a little bit. And we might try to take one more shot to the end zone and see if we can't get a, another score in. If we get a score in, now here's another thing you got to look. We're, we're looking at points here mm -hmm. that if you do score here it puts you inside the 13 point mark so you know when you're looking at points maybe if there's tie for Bentonville West 
for them, mm -hmm. it, it does make a difference. Yeah, it, it may. Two you seconds know, to go. For seeding purposes. Two seconds to go on the clock. You know. Again, it's really, I mean, it's going to come down to next week. You know, Harbor is going to get their first conference win tonight. We're going to be with one. And like we, like I said, I mean, two wins usually get you in. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's going to be uh, that's going to be a tough one. But uh, Springdale's going to go in there, take their shots next week. Last play of the ball game. Here's Carson Hader. Carson throws to the end zone. we got a flag down. Pass is incomplete, so we've got some things we got to sort out here. The flag was thrown at Rancel Orellana, and that looks like a, holding, a, yeah, holding against Springdale, and that's going to be the final play of the ball game. Our final score, Bentonville West 47, Springdale 22. Coach and I will be back to wrap it up. You're watching the Springdale Bulldogs on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Sometimes a dream car has nothing to do with horsepower or performance. My dream car is the one that gets me to my job every day. The one that lets me help a friend in need. I didn't think I had the credit. My credit score wasn't that good. But CarMart believed in me. They believed in me. My dream car, a 2016 Nissan Sentra. What's yours? America's CarMart. You keep the dream, and we'll keep you on the road. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. Final score tonight, Bentonville West 47, Springdale 22. Our post-game show is brought to you by Springdale Athletic Foundation, Slim Chickens, Trade Pro, United Federal Credit Union, Tacos for Life, Storms and Swiderski Orthodontics. So, Coach, we uh, we started out with a bang. Yeah. Recovered an onside sure kick. Did. Go right down the field, get the, uh, the seven points, and then uh, struggled a little yeah. bit in the second quarter, in the second quarter, in the third quarter, and uh, Bentonville West pulled away. Here's some highlights from the ball game. This is the first touchdown run. Caden Asserud, his first carry, I mean, looks great. We right. get into the end zone. It's 7 nothing at that point. That's exactly right. And, you know, they made some adjustments there. And, you know, defensively, you know, we had some good spots. Uh, there's some things we do need to correct. We kind of had some busts back mm -hmm. in the secondary, and we talked about those things. You know, they, they had the deep passing game going. This was a big play on the first drive for Bentonville West, a, uh, a third down third conversion. Long, yeah, yeah, third long. They get the conversion. And then Springdale, you know, kind of hanging around there. And, and here's a big run by Caden Asserud. Uh, gets them into Springdale territory, or gets into Bentonville West territory. But this is a big play right here on third down. You lose four yards. You right. got a punt here. And, and that was one of the plays in the first half because it led to this, a 61-yard pass to Harris Vincent and uh, Bentonville West suddenly had a, suddenly had found their deep game. Right. Uh, they'll score off of this. You know, and that was a play they ran several times and they, they ran it to both sides. Yep, there's and that's the a play there where the linebacker kind of had to cover the uh, receiver. Yeah, Springdale struggled in the second quarter just to kind of get anything inside. Bentonville West really shut down the uh, the interior. Jack going to go down here with a sack before he, uh, he would ultimately go out with an injury. But um, I, they, they really took away the fullback dive and this is a nice play here by uh, Cole Edmund. And this Kinda was one like of the weird, stopped, yeah. one of the weirdest plays I've seen doing this for ten years. Is it just seemed like Springdale's defense stopped? I thought there was a whistle. Yeah, you kind of looked. You saw a couple of our guys kind of stop. Now this is a good play here on uh, by Springdale's defense. Him and Vincent in. He had a good night. Vincent did. did, but on that particular play, uh, Springdale's defense right there. Jacob Simpson, uh, Brandon Lauder on the play. Here's the touchdown right before halftime. Great play there by Carson Hader. Uh, this is Caden Asseru getting in and. You know, at that point, you're thinking it's 19 to 14. Right. Take and you're point. like, that's right. We got a shot here, but a bust in the secondary leads to this Jackson Bruss touchdown, and Springdale goes down 26 14 at the half. And from there, uh, the turnovers yeah. you know, reared their ugly head again. This is a fumble that uh, Bentonville West comes away with, puts them in great field position. Right. And, uh, and they would take advantage here. Mason Hawkins with and that's the touchdown. That's a screen there that you talked about. They're yep. screen heavy. Mason Hawkins goes in, and at this point, it's 33 to 14. And the wheels sort of come off for Springdale here. This is a good run by Carson Hader. 
you know, at 33 14, you need, you're needing a drive, you're needing a drive, and then, you know, the, the, the offense goes backwards. Right. But, you know, and something you had mentioned too, even in the third quarter here, here's that he's got plenty of time to throw the ball, and that was that long fourth or third and like yep. 25, 26. Yep. Set up a, a third and two, and then they get the completion here to Vincent, and he's off to the races for another touchdown. And at this point, you're just. You know, now you're just trying. Now you're struggling to get back in, and the way this right. offense is built, you can't certainly can't have things like this, uh, which was a uh, a fumble, of which there was ultimately a personal foul on this back to Bentonville West. Up, and the defense, uh, the defense rose up. Right, they sure did. You know, and that was something that they needed to do right there. You know, Lauder came in and made a play. And it's just a different style of offense for them uh, that we've seen. And it's Lodgkin. a good effort there by Lodgkin. I mean, just trying to get every yard that he could in the fourth quarter. It's a touch. This is a 31-yard play, and I mean, this is just a guy making a play. I mean, this right. is schoolyard stuff. It's uh, Anderson with the reception. He'll get down to the eight. It would lead to a touchdown uh, by Nash. Right. And that was the final score for Bentonville West. But Springdale would get the ball back with a couple minutes to go in the ball game, and uh, they go right down the field. Yeah. Did a good job again. You know, good perimeter block blocking. Yeah. yeah. Noel on the on the block out there. Asrud gets into. Uh, West Territory, and then it's Rancel going in from a couple yards out to close out the scoring. Final score, 47-22. to 22. This is a nice play here on the uh, the onside kick. Yeah. You know, and they, and they had the chance at that first one, like you said, right, right coming off the third quarter. And, yeah. And Boy, I, you know, I sit there and you think how much would the momentum have changed had they gotten that. Right, the, had they gotten that. I mean, right. then they had a shot at it. I That's mean, you right. certainly can't And you never know it. And at that point, you know, the score's still there. Yeah. And uh, so – um, anything can happen, and it's just one of those unfortunate things. We just didn't didn't get it. Well, the dogs have a big one next week. We go across town to face the Harbor Wildcats. Game time seven p.m. Uh, Donald Tucker and I will be on at six thirty with the pregame show. I'll get it's to be, be down on the field. Yeah, you will. You'll get the uh, best seat in the house, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you out there. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a wild night. It usually is when those two get together, and it's uh, an incredibly meaningful game for both yep, teams. No doubt. Springdale needs to get back to five hundred at three and three, and uh, as they head into the final four weeks of the season. Appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. We'll be back next Friday night here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Tele Television. Our final score again, Bentonville West 47, Springdale 22. You all have a great weekend, and we will talk to you next week. Fires it. Fire it.